Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Welcome to A, a Podcast, podcast Will Save, save this, this Relationship. I'm Josh, he, him. I'm Sarah, she, her. I guess that's how we go now. And that's how we go, yeah. That's I'm now the thing. Men first. And on today's episode of this <laughs> podcast, we talk about... Uh, the change, <laughs> what we're doing right what now. What we're doing right now. Legitimately, how we're changing. Um, then we talk about Barry. Then we talk about Barry. In the middle of that, we talk about AI. Yeah. I go on a great tangent about AI. Um, and then we get into, uh, Reddit, Reddit stories, stories and listener, listener stories. stories. Uh, a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of a teenage stories on this one, I think. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of dumb men. <laughs> a, lot a lot of, of dumb, dumb men. boys doing some dumb shit. And a yeah. lot of dumb non-binaries also doing some... Doing some dumb, dumb shit. shit. Everybody of being all narcissist. genders. Everyone's being stupid today. Can be fucking idiots, man. Yeah. Uh, I tell a story about a Nazi. <laughs> like, yeah, I tell a story about a Nazi. And, and then uh, the various men who have exploded. I told a bunch of people they should apologize to me. <laughs> That's and true. That's how that's how it is now, guys. So it's a fun episode. It's a fun honestly. episode. Yeah. So definitely stay in store for all of it. All the timestamps are in the description. If you just want to go to the Reddit stories, which we know half of you pretty will. much will. But yeah, go ahead and do but yeah, that. Yeah, stick around for some fun content. This is the show. Hope you enjoy. And also follow us on Patreon. If you like this podcast, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. And fucking check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash APWSTR. You know it, baby. But anyway, enjoy the show, baby. Enjoy the show, baby. Do you think we're ever going to catch that fly that's flying around here? No, we're not we're ever not. going to do that. I'm surprised he's not, like, getting into the lights and dying. Oh, yeah, usually that's where they... I remember back at the old place, that's where they would fucking... They and were just fucking We had hella more flies at the old place. Yeah, and it was easier, too, because, like, once they got on that fucking light, it was like... Fucking got him. Yeah, you know? fucking like, got him. Fucking... It was a good way to get out my, my anger. Really? <laughs> How are you doing, Sarah? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Josh? I'm doing good. How do you How do you feel that I've I've uh, brought I've already brought out a good way to get rid of my anger? <laughs> Can we talk a little bit about the the break that we just had? Just the, a little bit. You mean the 20 minute break where I couldn't understand? <laughs> 20 minutes? Was it 20 minutes? I probably. Oh I my be fucking surprised. god! So we're trying out a new uh new way format to do the of podcast. recording yeah. yeah as you guys have probably already seen because yeah. the intro has been different now yeah. returning um, people are probably like what the fuck is going on well, uh, this is different understandably but yeah. i don't know fucking get used to Tides, it times I guess. are changing here we're we're yeah we're selling out now we're not, <laughs> not yet i don't know we're just trying to be more understandable to the public you know what i mean you know yeah it's really um i guess that's one of the it's a fun thing of like um trying to make yourself as widely appealing as possible. Well, it's not even wildly appealing. Like, we're still gonna curse, and we're still gonna, you know, fucking... I don't know. I guess more understandable to people that... Because I know we, we usually... just find us on the internet? Yeah, stuff that, like, uh, what is it? Uh, we are confusing. We're very... Conf yeah, we have a very weird show where... Because <laughs> uh, we just made this up, like, in 2018. Yeah, and we're dealing with the ramifications <laughs> of starting a show in 2018 that got popular in 2021. And uh, never changing anything. And not changing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Being so stubborn as to... <laughs> You know, it's like, I don't know, man, but I also like it, it's interesting because now we're we're kind of um trying to go a little more professional, a little more. Yeah. Well, more professional, I guess, not in like not in content, but <laughs> no, God, no. Uh, but like, you know, I, I want to make sure the soul of this podcast is still here. Yeah, Regardless absolutely. of whatever changes will come. Because, yeah. Because uh, I don't know. I, I think I, I've come to this point where it's kind of like uh, I want to we got to start taking this seriously. Yeah. For way sure. more uh, than before. Yeah. And one of the things that we do is we market to fucking TikTok. And the one thing that blew up on TikTok was Reddit stories. So I think people just kind of assume. We need to make that more easily accessible to the people that like yeah. Reddit stories. And that's pretty much it. And it's like, if you decide to stay to listen to our shitty banter, then yeah. go ahead. Go that's ahead. great. Yeah, but I, I'm to not going to blame anyone for, you know, looking at the chapters and being like, all right, that's where to go. You know? No. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Not gonna, like, totally we are going to make fun of you, but like, yeah, for sure. During the parts where had, they're not listening to this part, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> fucking, fucking Kevin. Kevin, yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Kevin. Kevin. Fuck you, Kevin. Um, <laughs> that would be so fucked up. If, like we don't have men coffee. listening to this yeah, we podcast. Do. How I many? A, um, I think it's like three <laughs> percent. 
It's a uh, 3% men, I yeah. think 80 something percent women. That's it's funny. It's single digit non-binary. I don't know if non uh, specified is before men <laughs> or after men, mm-hmm. but I know they're around the same percentages. Bro, this fucking fly loves you, dude. There's a fly in the studio today. There was, but I might have just gotten it. Oh shit. I don't he know. like landed straight up on your forehead. Really? And it went right on my mic too. So I don't know if I got him. He he was in love with you. He wanted to God, fuck I'm you. fucking sweaty. That's why. Mm. But yeah, no, I totally feel you. And I don't know. Actually, wait, more non binary than men? Probably. That makes me happy. Well, yeah, there's no more non binary than men. Um, and then I don't non user specified. Mm. Like they just don't choose a gender. That's cool. The most based of people. <laughs> yeah, high key, yeah. fucking based, bro. But yeah, no, fucking um, yeah, I guess a lot of stuff's changing in the foreground, background. So it's just an interesting time. To, yeah, I mean, honestly, and I would, I would not say yes to ideas that would fundamentally change the show. You know, let's do a whole instead of doing red stories, let's do nine gag stories, or just like, oh hey, you know, like if somebody came to us and was like, why don't you just do Reddit stories? Oh yeah, no, fuck no, that. No, I wouldn't that would agree be, with that. That would be a not fun time. Then I don't, I'm not able to talk about whatever I want on my podcast. That's yeah, that's the, the whole thing, it's point. your podcast, yeah, this is yeah. like the most free-flowing thing we have Yeah. creatively, you know? Yeah. I mean, at that point, just, I mean, if someone says like, oh yeah, just just do X or just do Y, yeah. instead of it being the variety show that is, like, fuck it, I might as well go back to film and you might as well go back to being in bands that didn't give a shit about <laughs> Your ideas, you know, like, I mean, spill the tea, Josh. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, we've talked about it so many times. It doesn't yeah, matter. Right. But like, you know, it's like fucking I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's very true. And but I mean, I feel like just putting a little bell and whistle right in the front. I don't know. It doesn't yeah. really change that much. Yeah, it doesn't change that much at all. So I don't know. It's just a it's a fascinating time. It took me 20 minutes to understand how the fuck this was going to work. <laughs> I though. had to draw a thing. Yeah, you had to draw a fucking graph, a diorama <laughs> of well, because it makes recording a little bit more difficult. But yeah, like, just because it's it's a little bit of like whoa, moving things, and then later that? on it's going to be like, oh, I'm going to have to move uh, at the three hour mark. I'm going to move three hour mark into the right in the beginning, and that'll be a, yeah. a, a not a challenge. I'm not going to say anything I do is challenging, <laughs> but like I mean, you yeah, know, it's moving one it's thing moving over, one thing over, it's I moving mean, a whole track over to this side. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pretend that every anything I do is more than pressing the one and two button. But <laughs> right, yeah, uh, no, like literally, like, um, yeah, it's just an interesting, like, um, I don't know, I, I think it's a good thing. Uh, do we are we gonna publicly announce that we have another person on the team? We haven't asked her if she'd want to be publicly recognized yet. Oh, fuck, we could say that. I mean, we got somebody, there's a new person the scenes. on the team, we're not gonna dox them yet. <laughs> We're gonna put her we address got a, up. Address right here, number right here. <laughs> no pronouns. But yeah, yeah, we have a new. There's a new person that's helping us out, and yeah. uh, we'll release more info about her. <laughs> she's Once in the. We she's in the. She's in the fucking meeting. Yeah, yeah. she's. <laughs> she's actually in the corner of the room, locked in a cage. Actually, <laughs> yeah, we, we only <laughs> let her out to feed her. Yeah. <laughs> See, and now this is fun because, like, you know, she's gonna become our like Dan of age three. You know yeah, what I like mean? A, I'm, I'm envisioning her probably is more of a yeah producer and more of a yeah getting stuff out and doing business stuff than mm-hmm. i know how to do yeah and have the capability of She's doing incredibly smart i'm very lo- like we're both very lucky to have her oh for sure yeah, yeah. like i'm already excited about the ideas that she has um, oh yeah yeah so it's gonna change a little bit but not that much honestly probably not yeah so fucking yeah no it's an exciting time yeah you know Oh, we're actually looking for sponsorships. Finally, I've fucking. Fi- me, we're actually gonna. We're gonna do it. We're to get, sell like, out. Audible and shit. Yeah, yeah, cause fucking um, what what was it? Fucking um, I don't know. For having a another person on board, mm-hmm. and B, we've been doing this for six months now, and we've been getting paid, but like like not anything that much. would help. Yeah, like you know? beer money. Yeah, it's getting to the point where it's kind of like I'm getting so sick of my job, and if this is how the game's played, what mood? Yeah, might as well play it. Not like. But not too much. I don't want to like ruin the fucking man. This is just a, we're just having a meeting now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Welcome, listener. You are now the you're all public shareholders. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, know. no, like I don't know. It's it's like uh, it's it's getting to this point where it's like we have an audience and like yeah, we might as well like do what we can to like support ourselves, especially since sure. like everything's going up. Fucking bro. Like, yeah. Shit is rent's going too up. Expensive. Groceries. Like, 
fucking gas. It's like, fuck, yeah. How, the, how are we supposed to survive on an 11 hour and 15 hour a job, respectively? Yeah, and yours is only part time, Yeah, too. mine's only part time, so, so it's... This is basically my other job, like... Yeah, and that's the thing is we need to start treating it like a job and not just doing whatever the fuck we want, you know what I mean? And we can still do whatever the fuck we want. Oh, yeah, for sure, but there's gonna be some, like... We're going to have to start making more business-like decisions, which is always interesting, I think. It's to, crazy to think yeah. that we technically own a partnership. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. We just put the information in on fucking legal Zoom and then put it onto YouTube and then nothing else has happened. Like, that's it. Like <laughs> I mean, yeah. Taxes, yeah, but taxes, that's it. That's the only fucking thing. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. It's just a fa- it's fascinating to me. It's fun. I don't know. It's a, it's a, there's a, it's the show's going to stay fundamentally the same, but a few things here and there will change. Yeah. Just a little bit. I'm going to start hitting the auto apply ads. <laughs> So there's a hundred episodes, a hundred ads <laughs> yeah. just through it. Yeah. Can we talk about, uh, okay, before we talk about Barry, uh, can we talk yeah. about how fucking shitty yeah. YouTube's ad system is that yeah. they, they just want you to put a million ads into your fucking like thing. It's funny as fuck. Yeah. Cause like, I remember big Joel did a, like a, a video talking about the YouTube creator series or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, they literally just tell you just hit the automatic button. Really? If you really want to. I just got a text. Fuck. I thought that was a fucking alarm for a second. I thought like, <laughs> is there a fire in this house? What are the cats doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Giving we, me a heart attack. You just go outside and fucking. Fox has a gasoline. Fox is like frying pancakes on the fucking stove. <laughs> Funny as fuck. God, but yeah, no. So like, uh, yeah, like they literally just tell you like, if you don't want to put ads in your video, like manually, yeah. we can just do it for you. But they do it so shitty. Like, why would I want 100 ads a video? Yeah, so the way they do it, I don't know how much I can say. This might just all get cut. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> um, I don't know how much I can say. I can't, like, devolve, like, you know, like, uh, uh, like money or shit. You know, like, I know they're really stingy. Yeah, they have, we have to gatekeep it. But Gatekeeping like, Josh. Josh is we can the only one. Give, That's the gatekeeping, well, guys. It's fucking, it goes against terms of service. Like, I'm sorry. Really legit? Yeah. That's stupid as That's, fuck. Yeah, so I can't talk about too much, I think. Wow. But uh, they... YouTube, from what I understand, auto scans for long periods of silence and, and puts then an puts an ad in. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why Red Letter Media does that like black that screen. three second. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's more so so they can put it in. I don't think they auto add because I think if they did, there would be like a hundred more ads in there. Well, I mean, they do that. But like, um, I think they try to put ads in the middle and do like a fucking thing because I've definitely seen episodes that have probably gotten demonetized or something. Yeah, for sure. They just it's just three seconds of black, and then they go go into right the back rest. into it. Yeah, yeah, so that's why they put the thing in there, so yeah. they know where to put it in. Yeah, because it's um YouTube would probably would do that. It's weird because sometimes I put like I don't put spaces in, but like there's a space, and then YouTube doesn't decide to put a fucking it's a it's an AI whatever fucking this is uh, fucking weird fucking uh, two plus two equals four the interesting facts but before we talk about Barry because I've forgotten most of Barry since yeah. we haven't been watching Barry and then we just watched the last episode which is great um I am getting more and more anxious about things being reliant on AI when I've noticed that AI is not at the point where I will rely on it. You know what I mean? I get it. Yeah. I'm not very <laughs> confident <laughs> in most AIs. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I don't think, um, I think AI has a long way to go. Um, AI does a lot though. Like that's the one thing where I'm kind of like, I can understand some uses right now, like immediate uses that we can use AI for. Which, what? Uh, gaming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's it. But, um, how do I, I don't know. It's weird. What do you mean by gaming? What specifically like bots in Fortnite? They, yeah. Like they can, you kill them? Yeah. <laughs> Cause then I would argue they're not that good. They're not that good. Yeah. You're not they wrong. They need to get better. Yeah. You're not wrong. But also it bumps up my ego. So. <laughs> Uh, no, fucking, um, I don't know, it's weird, cause, like, um, some AI, like, AI that, like, does simplistic shit, right, is, like, the only thing that works, but, but like, when it comes to, like, long-term use, we're yeah. not there yet. Well, I mean, and I feel like a hater. I feel a little bit like, a those fucking goddamn robots don't even know how to open a can, or something like that, like, yeah, I feel right. like an old man, but I'm just, like, I don't fucking want a fucking car. 
that's gonna drive me places. I was gonna use that as an exa- example of like where AI really hasn't gotten. It's gotten. It's not good better, enough yet, but it hasn't. Yeah, it's nowhere near where it's safe. Bro, if Google can't remember my password, every time I log in to Google, it does the wrong password. That it uh, remembers the wrong password, and then I have to go in and change it. And then Google is like, it doesn't show the fucking thing that says, do you want to change your password? Because I think it showed me that once and I accidentally clicked no. And it's just like, I'm never going to show you that again. Yeah, because there's literally the option of like, never show me that. Don't show me this again. But it's like either, yes, I do, or no, please, never. I never yeah. want to speak to you again. Oh, I think that's, like, more, yeah, that's more on like a human error than of someone thinking no, that would be... No, it's fucking not, because then like every well, other someone de- time... No, I mean, because someone designs that function, for right. sure. Yeah, okay, that's yes. That's what I mean. That's, well, but then, yes, I'm like, okay, but then there should be something in the AI that's like, well, what if that happens? Yeah, that's or true. let's change it again. Fuck it. You know? I think, yeah, I... Uh, hmm. I'm just like, I don't trust it. You don't trust it? I don't I, fucking I get it. trust it. I have so many problems with technology. No. If you can't make an AI that is like uh, adaptable to the human experience, I don't trust it. Well, I mean, that's like the whole point of like, well, I mean, that's why only recently like deep learning and shit, right? Has like kind of become more, mm-hmm. uh, not I guess not accessible. I guess maybe accessible and more feasibly done with like computing power and shit. I don't know what deep learning is. Well, that's the thing that, like, makes AI adaptable. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, that's how, like, AI can finally realize, like, um, there's a, what is it, CP, CP Gray? I don't know how to fucking say it. Video on AI about, like, okay, so how do you want to make, how do you make it, how do you train an AI to learn the difference between a B and a 3? Yeah. And the answer is you make a billion little bots yeah. that are tested, basically, okay. on what a three is and what a B is, Mm -hmm. then you get the best bots, put them and copy and make a bunch of different variations and like different X, Y, Z's of like, oh, here's a three, here's a B. Yeah. And then you test them again, get rid of the shitty ones, Mm -hmm. make the best threshold and keep raising it, raising it, raising it until eventually it knows what a three is and what a B is. So you eugenics? Yeah. (laughs) You use eugenics. It's basically a eugenics based fucking thing. You're not wrong. So what you do is you take two dogs and you tell the dog, what is that? Is that a yeah, stick? Just, and if the dog's just, fucking dumb, you fucking shoot him in the head. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it's, 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 listen, listen. Listen, and I guess we're just telling ourselves these things don't have feelings, so it's okay to just get rid of them. What the fuck does get rid of them mean? Throw them in the fucking lava. It's fuck like, these it's robots. Like, it's like, yeah, it's... <laughs> Listen, and I don't know. I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. If you're like, Sarah does... I can't believe Sarah's even speaking on this shit. Like, obviously, I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. I sound like your grandpa. Like, come on, man. That's fucking hilarious, dude. That's so funny that they're just like, take him out behind the shed. <laughs> Fucking this bitch doesn't know what a B is. <laughs> Time to fucking shoot him. Time to fucking shoot this robot. I love I love technology. This is what you're by the way, sir, this is what you're gonna learn eventually with I know, Java. Right? Yeah, you're with gonna like eventually coding and shit. You're eventually gonna be like, you know what? I'm cool with eugenics in this space because then at least it'll know when to close a bracket on its own. Well, no, I think that's why I'm so like, be nice to your robots, man, because you fucking spend so much time coding. And once it finally does what you want, it's like, you know, it's like having a baby. Yeah, I get it. It's your baby. And you say Apple, and the baby goes, Appa. And then you say Apple, and the baby goes, Appa. You fucking get him to say Apple, and then you're like crying. That's what it's like to fucking code because then you're like, oh my God, my baby said Apple. (laughs) Fuck. And then you're like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I fucking made this shit say Apple. But you love the baby. You don't take him out and shoot him (laughs) because he can't say Apple. No, this is a cold, heartless fucking fucking career. That's fucking crazy, dude. All right. It's a one man, two screens. 
a bunch of electricity and ones and zeros, baby. Listen, I'm going to uh, make a faux pas and make a reference to the fucking Patreon exclusive we just recorded, but I'm pro elephant rights and I'm pro robot rights. <laughs> all right. And if anything, if you want to say like Sarah's anti human rights, then you're fucking correct. Wow. Shit. In terms Cut of this out. Cut robot this out. rights and elephant rights. Sarah, what do you think about it? I don't give them? a fuck. <laughs> Man, I'm just gonna push you into a corner now by asking you questions like, "Well, what yeah. about <laughs> what about what? What are, your, what are your opinions on the Supreme Court's recent ruling to <laughs> to to potentially get rid of um Continue? the Miranda rights? Oh yeah, I saw that. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> That's what I mean. Those people don't deserve rights. The people that are fucking saying, "Oh, let's take away other people's rights," don't deserve rights. An elephant is just chilling with his baby. Mm -hmm. And this 70-year-old Indian woman is like, fuck you. <laughs> she doesn't deserve rights. And that elephant went and corrected <laughs> the way the world was going. Yeah. And these just robots like are just trying to fucking learn. <laughs> and then coders are just like, fucking, hey, if you don't fucking make 80% on this test, I'm gonna fucking kill you. They don't deserve rights either. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? How hard is it to just be nice to objects? <laughs> Shit, man. Fuck. <sighs> Got me hiccuping. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hashtag Sarah is over party. <laughs> I recognize how white of a stance this is that I'm taking. It's so white. I know. And people are going to be like, Sarah definitely like thinks dogs are more benevolent than humans and you're correct you're correct <laughs> fuck man all right i need five minutes now <laughs> <laughs> fuck and we fuck. were gonna talk about barry too <laughs> and you know what i am gonna use barry as evidence for my uh my opinions this is your court case now yeah this is my court case evidence Sarah, a the people of humanity <laughs> fucking <ep> finale of fucking barry who deserve right who deserves <laughs> rights in the fucking TV show Barry? <laughs> I'll give you a hint, it's not Barry fucking Berkman, I'll tell you. <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> Jesus. You have no right to make me laugh that hard. <laughs> I don't have rights. That's funny. It's uh, talking about rights. Fucking Jesus Christ. Welcome to Off the Rails, the offshoot of uh, APWSDR. Not a, not a, no other podcast has ever had no that affiliation before. with any other podcast. I know the worst part about this is yeah. that it's uh, pre-recorded, so everything is deliberately chosen to stay in here. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's not even like oh, they just they cut out the part where they. I'll said, stick by what I said. Damn. On the internet, tweet at Sarah over here and, at, at Squinton twenty seven <laughs> one. <laughs> And then they'll send I it. I think it's. And I think you know what? If anybody comes to me and is very seriously like, you are unhinged and you need to go to the hospital or something for your opinions, I'm gonna think like it's really funny that you took me seriously. Uh, it's yeah. so funny. Obviously, I do not think these things. I'm tweeting at you like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll read. I'll fucking quote tweet and be like, I'm being silenced for my opinions. <laughs> I'm Hashtag the woke silent. left. <laughs> <laughs> that elephant deserves rights. Deserved protection. Jesus. All right. Okay. All right. Let's calm down, everybody. Okay. Fucking Christ. I don't even know. Where... <laughs> we change one aspect of the podcast and everything's <laughs> out the window. Fuck, man. So you want to talk about Barry now? Yeah, or talk something? about Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our media. Welcome to, uh, welcome to our media. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> and what's so funny is I'm wearing an equality shirt too. That's really funny. But yeah, not for the people trying to take away other people's rights. I feel very yeah, strongly that's about fine. that. Yeah, I get yeah. that. So Sarah, what do you think of Barry? <laughs> I think Barry's a fucking good show. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, Great, fucking. Let's we move just on to the register. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's take let's take a quick second again. 
another five <laughs> seconds. Somehow my hiccups are gone. Don't even know how that happened. I think I made you laugh out of your hiccups too. God. Okay. So all right. So we we you know we were talking about like a bunch of TV shows. Yeah, we have been. Uh, we did Boys and Stranger Things, and uh, we'll save those for another day. Well, we did it last week, so yeah, true. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll tell you our thoughts on the finished season of Stranger Things. Spoiler alert: It's gonna shit the bed. <laughs> yeah, it is gonna shit the bed for yeah, sure. Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. I, it might. It I might. definitely but, think so. But let's talk about an actual good show that hasn't <laughs> lost steam miraculously. Yeah, since season uh season one. Yeah, every every yeah, season, it's been great. Pretty uh, much. Fucking um, I was actually uh, I guess the good way to start this off is I was watching a TikTok. Mm. Uh, apparently, the New York Times they said that the first season of Barry was so good they wouldn't watch the second season because of how tar it would tarnish the first season. That's another group and of then, people that don't deserve <laughs> rights. Is anyone who writes for the New York fucking Times man. and says stupid shit like that? Yeah, yeah. Didn't the New York Times recently like? They said some fucking crazy shit about trans people, or they like uplift. They gave a platform to somebody who is doing the whole like uh, trans people are groomers. Really? They did yeah. that? Oh, well, fucking. To like reference them or something. And it's like, why even put that in I an article? I know the BBC apparently has had a bunch of like fucking anti trans shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's that's really not, frustrating. Yeah, it's, but it's, whatever. Yeah, that's not the no, point. Just when we, fuck when the we, when we go, when we go back to the worst takes, we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, figure it out someday. But um, fucking um, what is it? Yeah. So the New York Times was like, yeah, no, this this first season of Barry's so good. I'm not. I'm not gonna watch the, the second one because it'll be bad. And Cringe then the take. second season was Cringe. like it's better than the first. Of fucking course it is. What it like? Yeah. yeah duh. Like, you don't just watch a good TV show and then you go, oh, I know oh, this gonna is going to go. Suck. Yeah. yeah, I know we just said that about Stranger Things, but that's because of very specific <laughs> things that happen yeah, in Stranger Things. Because I have a writing degree. but <laughs> No, I don't. But uh, no, like fucking, um, yeah, this show is like, um, I think we've talked about this with um, Severance. Why the fuck is it that Ben comedians. Stiller, comedians making serious TV shows with comedic elements is like the smartest thing a comedian can do high key yeah and like just the comedians like uplifting other fucking writers because i know um severance was not ben stiller's idea it was some other guys but ben Stiller was like once he read it, he was like i want to fucking make this like, tomorrow yeah, like, let's, yeah do this let's do now. this as soon as we can true but i don't like, know man. i don't know it's such a fascinating like um i like the um what is it uh with this new i mean okay so the whole plot of barry is uh bill Hader plays barry berkman a a uh what is it hitman yeah depressed <laughs> just like hates his fucking job yeah goes to los angeles for a hit and falls in love with acting and then yeah. hilarity ensues i don't know if we've talked about barry i feel like we might have at some point but like i don't know I, but we are big barry stands yeah we're barry heads here yeah uh, for sure fucking this whole but um that's the basic plot this third season uh spoilers um i don't know if this is the best season of barry i think it might be <laughs> I, I I don't know. Okay, do you think this finale specifically was more or less intense than the season two finale? Because <sighs> I've seen really, some interesting takes about it. I it's weird because this it feels like a really stark contrast. Also, there are going to be spoilers. There, so yeah, the, just, yeah. I've already yeah. yeah spoilers spoilers ahead. Yeah. Fucking um, it's interesting because like um, I feel like the season is darker in a non-killing sense. I think yeah. this season didn't have... I don't even think there were that many... I don't think so either. It's very psychologically dark, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's a lot more like having Barry kind of like adapt to being a normal person for the first half before kind of devolving back to his old ways in the second half. Well, I mean, he is killing in the first half. Like, that's the beginning of it. he kill in the first half? Yeah, he goes... Oh, yeah, because he's a fucking hitman. Yeah. Yeah. He, like, stops killing, I think, in the second season, and then he just starts becoming he depressed. He tries to stop, yeah. Because, uh, uh, Fuchs basically rats him out to, uh, Oh Kusano. my god, yeah, I totally fucking, man, I just said Honestly, a lot of yeah. wrong shit. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I just said a lot, a lot of, of wrong, wrong shit. fucking yeah, he, bad takes. But no, okay, so yeah. like, yeah, he starts off as a hitman doing Craigslist things, that's all he does. Yeah, because he, he doesn't just really... wants to feel again, pretty much. Not even that he, uh, is it to feel again? I feel yeah. like... I mean, yeah, that's usually, that's what it was, it was just like, he was like, man, I just... Like, right in the beginning, the original thing where the guy was like, actually, you know what? You don't have to kill Jeff. I, I get him. And he's like, there's no forgiving Jeff. You're yeah. not forgiving Jeff. And then he kills them both. Is like, 
I, and then he starts seeing the. They didn't really go into this, which I wish I wish they did. Yeah, they only started off with like the weird PTSD. Yeah, like uh, like having like visions of shooting Sally and yeah. Henry Winkler. I can't think of his actual character's Cousineau? name right now. Cousineau, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so it starts off with that, and then Barry tries to get Cousineau gigs. Well, yeah. So Cousineau comes to Barry and says, I know that you killed Janice from the finale of the first season. And uh, Barry then kidnaps Cousineau. And is about to kill him. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to kill him because Barry, Cousineau is Barry's like father figure that is the only good father figure Barry's ever had. Yeah. So Barry doesn't want to kill him. But for some fucking reason, Barry thinks that if he gets Cousineau apart, they'll be even. Yeah. Which is just like it shows really just like how um juvenile Barry's like thought process is about things. Yeah. Like he thinks that uh from the second season, Kusuno telling him that like, yeah, I think you're a good person and you can, you know, get oh my better. God. Not yeah. knowing that Barry's this fucking terrible serial killer murderer. Yeah. Um and Barry thinking, well, I mean, okay, so I'm fine. I'm not irredeemable. Everything's fine. Yeah, so he's trying to fix everything kind of in the start. Without really going through the process of being remorseful. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's sort of like that's the problem with Barry. It's like Barry in the first season is like just doing things that Fuchs tells him to do and is trying to get out of like Fuchs. And then the second season is like I am trying to figure out like what's the fuck is wrong with me and what how i'm why i'm such a monster if i am a monster if i'm not a monster and then in the third season is sort of the breakdown of that because he's committed all these atrocities and hurt all of these people and also he's not really seen any penance for that at all yeah he's literally no punishment other than yeah. like which is interesting because i think this is the first season where like he really starts seeing the consequences, consequences. Of his yeah action. so like the first yeah he um tries to get kusuno a gig at sally's work yeah and has a basically and has like screams a, at sally yeah i think it's like from the ending of the first episode throughout the second episode he's just in a manic state of like of running around trying to get kusuno, kusuno a, a gig to the gig. point yeah to the point where he's like yelling <laughs> yeah. at sadly in front of sally in front of everyone yeah and just saying like this is what i need to do to live you yeah. know yeah and like, I like, need to do this to be able to live. Yeah, and then... Because he has to exist in a world where Kusuno and him are okay. Yeah. To be a good person. And that's how fucking depraved he is, is, like, he's just, like... And I don't mean depraved as in, like, a bad way. I think it's really sad, this story. Like, in general... Yeah, it's a tragedy, for sure. Because like, Barry legitimately just doesn't have the emotional intelligence and capabilities to yeah. be his own person understand who he is as a self and then also to realize that even though he was just following orders from fuchs and you know killing people that it doesn't absolve him from the actions of killing people yeah true and that's kind of it's like a weird fucking thing because like that's in the first two seasons they kind of they plant the seed of like the only way that barry was able to find camaraderie in the army was by killing people all the time so it is just like a sad like i i think it's more of like a like a statement on toxic masculinity yeah because like there's that po the reason why he gets kicked out of the military is because yeah uh, fucking he just goes berserk and kills a random guy because he uh his, his friend gets shot yeah yeah and it's like a fucking <sighs> It's it, and it's so sad, and it really it all leads up to the ending where Kusuno sells him out. Right after his friend Chris, who is now a detective, who is trying to track down Barry because he's uh, realized. Albert, I think. Oh, Albert! Yeah, sorry, Chris is Chris is the guy that he murdered in the first episode. Yeah, the that made season. it look like a suicide. I keep calling him Chris. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, but Albert, his friend Albert, uh, fucking is now a detective and is now putting the pieces together of the first two seasons of all the crimes that have happened. Yeah. How Burry, 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 Barry, Barry. Yes. Barry. Barry. Yes. Yes. 
I'm gonna, Barry. Guys, I'm gonna gaslight Sarah into thinking that it was actually called Burry this whole time. Do not <laughs> do not tell her in the comments. I don't know why um, that's so funny. <laughs> the big text Burry. <laughs> I don't know why that's really Bumped, funny. Ba -da, da -da 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 -da. No, okay, so fucking okay, yeah. so yeah, so uh, okay, Albert's doing that, I think. Yeah. And well, then Cousineau is also oh, not Cousineau. Um So Albert finally finds Barry and Barry gets on his fucking knees and starts crying. And Albert is like, you fucking did it. You killed Chris. You killed, you killed these fucking people. And then says to Barry and like this, like, you think the fucking Albert is going to kill him. Albert's going to like murder Barry. Obviously he's not because the show's going to have another season. And yeah, it's the yeah, name yeah. of the show. So you're like, how the fuck is this going to play out? But Albert goes like, I know you're a good person because you saved my life. So fucking Albert this entire time has been going through this internal conflict of the man that saved my life has murdered like 50 people. Yeah, yeah. Which is crazy. And and also like, yeah. Immediate, and then he says, you need to stop killing now. Like yeah, from now. Yeah, starting now, which is like a callback to the first season <laughs> when Barry said to Fuchs starting now and then to himself starting now again after killing Janice Moss. True. I didn't even connect that. That's yeah, true. That's, yeah, that's what it was. Wow. Um, but yeah, no, so that, okay, so, so I guess... that, but then immediately after, Kusuno is the person, Barry immediately just, like, knee-jerk reaction is reacting to a male role model telling him to murder somebody. Yeah, well, okay, so that's the, that's the other, the one of the other storylines throughout the third season is Fuchs is actively trying to get Barry killed. Yeah. <laughs> by going to... Um, Forgot about that, yeah. Well, yeah, because he goes to pretty much every single person like surviving family member of, of every people. person that he had barry kill yeah within uh what is it the uh first well during la so that includes uh janice's uh father yeah uh the family of the uh the classmate he didn't kill but got killed by was going to kill i guess yeah um there was an another one oh the guy from the first episode fucking, yeah and yeah like the Chris, very, yeah, fr yeah, um, which is one of the uh, more like the the wife of Chris like poisons him. Well, no, okay, so that's um, that's a different person. Yeah, the, okay, there's the know. what is there it? There were so many people. There's a lot of people I that are killed. There's it. one. There's a really good scene where uh, yeah, the person that uh, uh, who I <laughs> there's a lot of names. Yeah, I think yeah. the guy that gets killed in the first episode of the first season isn't named until I thought that this was season. Chris. I thought Chris is the guy that he makes looks like a suicide. No, that was um, that was a different guy. That was a different guy. That was the guy from the acting class, right? No, that was the guy that got killed by the Russian or the uh, Chechen uh, yeah. mob. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there's I don't. There's a lot of people that die I in these Chris two seasons, and they bring back a lot of people. The tech guy that was in the army that went on that mission with the Barry that yeah. went south with the other two Macho Bros. During the first season. No, that's not. Chris is the guy that's married to that lady who has uh, a fucking kid because Albert went to that lady and was like, oh, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Holding up. Oh, OK. So I'm talking about. OK, so in that first episode where that guy gets shot and it's just yeah. Barry, uh, that family also tries to kill Barry. They're the ones that buy the gun. Yeah. Yeah. And then they shoot the. um. Fuchs goes to them oh, and reads them yeah. and then buys a gun. There's but then, a lot. There's a yeah, lot. Yeah, and then that person is the, uh, what is it? The one that poisons him. Yeah. I think is the one that's Chris. Yes. That's yeah. What so, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's yes. What I that's said. right then. Yeah. Yeah. So there's two different, there's two different wives and sons. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's so yeah. confusing, it's man. Really, yeah. I, it's not even, it's, but it's not, I, I and will then say there's it's the motorcycle confusing. guys also. Yeah. Because those were the macho guys. Yeah. Cousins. Family. Family. Something like that. Something. It's, I, I wouldn't call it convoluted. There's just a lot of parts that you need to watch all the way through that are and, all happening at the same time. Yeah. I think I read something. <laughs> I, I think it was AV Club that was like, oh, yeah, an offhand joke. The second season becomes a main plot point in the third season. Yeah, right. And I'm like, you know what i mean is is that a great way to make a show probably not but it works it, it fucking, makes me fucking happy yeah, yeah, that, yeah, it that's does, yeah. it yeah you know like uh, it's not a normal way to do things but like okay so yeah because th there's that my main point is that during that that season that <laughs> yeah. the, the the point where he gets poisoned and then there's like an episode or two where he's like minorly poisoned but still walking and he's hallucinating 
being on a beach. Yeah, and then with he all walks, the people that he killed. With all the people that he killed, and then, you know, fucking um, Sally and uh, Kusuno show up. in the back, yeah. Yeah, because they're going to, they are victims of Barry, whether he wants to admit it or not. That's a good way of, yeah. Yeah, and then during that time, he's being driven by, <laughs> he gets found by the father of the acting student that got killed by the Chechenian mob. Yes. Who wants to kill him. Yeah. But drives into the hospital. Yeah. And kills himself. Yeah. Um, that was fucking that crazy. That was a fucking, like, Jesus Christ, yeah. Yeah, and so it's, it's. I feel like it's in the previous of, seasons, he's just kind of gotten lucky. And it's, yeah. it feels very much like, a, he can't keep getting away with it, you know what I mean? And now he can't get away with it now, and, yeah. Well, now it's like, he does keep getting lucky, but it's less luck and it's more the consequences of his actions. Yeah, so like literally, um, yeah, it's just it. It's, yeah, he's just having the consequences of his actions, and he's actually finally feeling more guilt. Yeah, than like before. Yeah, and I think that's coming in part due to like the depression, because there's a point um where uh Sally, it's Barry and Sally are in uh, his apartment. Yeah, previously, so they've broken up because they broke up because, and then Barry said, "Oh, listen, I'll go to your boss's house and stalk her, stalk her, and like take photos of her in her make room, make all of the furniture really small, big, so she feels psychological like psychological warfare." And he says it so casually, and it's so funny. It's a funny fucking scene, and then <laughs> she Sally, says, "Get the fuck out of my house, you fucking psycho!" Yeah. And then she has her show canceled, and her assistant runs her own show that was like a competitor to Sally's show. Yeah. And then she freaks out on her and gets it canceled. So then she's finally succumbed to the, like, vengeance that Barry has. Well, and she's always been kind of a... Like, people don't really like Sally's character. I love Sally's character. Like, Sally has always been kind of a self-centered person. And Mm. she's always been portrayed as a self-centered person. And she's like, you know... But then she is finally being able to to be put in a spot where she can use like her own trauma to help other people. Yeah. And she has some like self growth there where um the younger person on her show says, Barry's a violent person because he fucking screamed at you. Yeah. And she finally stands up for herself, which is like a wonderful moment because she's had trouble with that in the past two seasons. Yeah. And um so then finally she shows that she also has this like violent side yeah and um it's it's not really gone into that much and i kind of wish they did more but i understand why yeah but like it she fucking then she calls barry back to her like house and says like i need you to go and do that psychological warfare on my ex she's she's at barry's apartment on the laptop trying to figure it out it was not her apartment yeah yeah, and then it was, I think, yeah, because then Barry goes back to his place because it's um the roommate's, like, audition space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it has the drum studio because then the motorcycle guy comes in, knocks Barry out. Yeah. And then Sally fucking sta- gets almost choked out by the guy before stabbing him in the eye. <laughs> yeah, he's just, like, showing up because he wants to murder Barry and I guess everybody else yeah, in the Sally house. Yeah, because was in the room, yeah. yeah, and a witness. So he starts choking Sally, which is a callback to when she was choked by her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. And, um, um, Sally then fucking murders that guy. Yeah, like literally goes into like this drum room that's like soundproof. And just fucking beats the shit out of him with a bat. Yeah. In self defense. Yeah. And it's fucking amazing, honestly. Yeah, and then Barry finally wakes up and tears Sally off of the guy and tells Sally to say Barry did this. Because he's now like, oh fuck, I brought her into this like murder shit. Yeah. And he's fucking caused this. And it's fucking crazy because the the actress that plays Sally portrays like a victim that's gone into like a uh you know like a fight or flight response so fucking well yeah because he's like holding her face and she's crying and she and he's just like fucking please just say that I did this please say that I did this yeah. I did this tell me I did this say Barry did this. And she's just fucking crying. I I, I do kind of think that this episode, the, the season finale was more intense than the second. Yeah, it's actually, I think it's the most dark <laughs> yeah. I think the show has gotten, which is a, a, a fucking accomplishment considering how dark some of the other episodes are. Because I saw somebody else say on the internet, they were like, yeah, it was the worst fucking, like, <laughs> fucking Bill Hader needs to pay for my therapy. And then people who haven't seen it yet in the comments are going, it was worse than the second 
season ending where well, he yeah. murders like 50 people well, that's the thing is to that get to fugues i feel like the first two seasons are a lot more physically mm-hmm. violent i think this season is really emotionally violent to the yes. point of like which is it's, beautiful yeah because like i think it finally it's, it's, it's going a lot more delve into like i think this is like um i don't know if the fourth season is going to be the last season <laughs> i hope I hope not. Not. I mean, I could. But definitely, I don't know what else they're gonna do. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if they, t- I don't know, they're gonna tie this up in a bow. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, I think I remember early on. I think episode two, someone I followed or someone said that it's we. It's interesting to see uh, Barry not be the protagonist of his own show anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not. Yeah, like hmm. he's yeah. He's definitely turned into the antagonist of everything. Yeah. But I think it, they can turn it around into him being the protagonist again. It doesn't necessarily mean he has to be a good person, but like he definitely is showing like, I think they could go into um, how fucking sad it is that yeah. he has done all this shit and he doesn't know anything. My favorite parts of this season were the parts where like, you know, somebody said like, oh, to get her back, like show him who you really are. And then he did the collage. Yeah, did the collage and then did the... <laughs> I love the collage because it's just like beer and it's just like, like beer and sports and things that we've never seen him be interested in at all. And it yeah. doesn't even have like acting in it. Like he just yeah, it doesn't. It's just like obviously that's what he thinks he should be into. Yeah. So yeah, and that's an interesting thing because then two seconds later he's like, "Oh, I'll go into your, your producer's house and freak her out." And yeah. that's like actually his real side. That's who he actually is. But. Obviously, that's because other people have told him that he needs to do that to manipulate him to do whatever it is they want. Yeah. So fucking it's just amazing that we're watching this guy who doesn't have a sense of self just kind of falling in and out of scenarios. Yeah. And deciding, oh, I need to do that because this person shows me, you know, said I needed to do that. And now I'm doing that. And now I'm reacting to that. And that's the consequences of my actions. And it's just like wonderful to see yeah the it's a it's a such a complicated character to write and also a, a character to play because yeah, fucking... <laughs> like fucking <laughs> it's not just motivation they do that blah 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 bears mo- it doesn't have really motivation to do anything other than this guy told me to yeah literally it's fucking that's just that's how he's been living as a person as yeah. a character yeah like it's such a there's no Fuck, reflection man. on how fucked up that is that like for his entire life, he was just told to do things and he did them. Yeah. Depressing, man. It's depressing. But then it's also like, yeah, he does need to have consequences to his actions. He's murdered a bunch of a people, bunch of people yeah. and caused all this pain. So then that's when it gets to the point right at the end of the um, season finale where Kusuno sells him out. Yeah, where um, basically uh, Janice's father says, hey, I want to talk to you about the death of my daughter. And he's like, and no, like, I'm no, not, not going to do it. And he immediately calls Kusuno. Yeah. And Kusuno basically lies and says, oh, he's going to ruin my life. He's going to. Yeah. I need you, you to get down here. From an audience perspective, we just saw Barry like cry and beg for his life. Yeah. Say he wasn't going to kill again. And then and yeah. now he's hearing his father figure. We don't know if Kusuno is going to kill himself or kill the guy which is interesting because uh last season during the season finale it's basically it's a pretty similar parallel the difference is it's one guy versus a crowd but uh what happens is barry calls kusuno's number and the sun picks up and barry just wants to say to kusuno hey people can change yeah you know and like just tell him that i said and said hi or whatever you know yeah and then um fucking it's just interesting because then he says that and then barry doesn't change again uh, yeah at all yeah and this is like i think yeah i guess that's the third time because yeah every single season finale barry has had a moment where he said starting first season starting he said, starting now, now, i'm gonna change and he doesn't change yeah second season people can change it doesn't change yeah third change begs for his life and you know says i'm gonna change and then I, the I'm next gonna, thing yeah. he's got but then it's like well you uh, the manipulation of getting Barry to show up. Barry wouldn't have done that. Yeah. If Kusuno hadn't said like, oh, I'm going to fucking lose my show, my whole career. He's going to ruin me. And without like the implication that Kusuno was going to murder somebody or himself. Mm. So then Kusuno gets him, manipulates him to show up. 
And Goose is literally holding, holding a, a gun. gun. Barry takes the gun from him and says, you're a fucking idiot. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then get out of here. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to him. And Cousineau says, no, don't talk to him. Don't. And then he goes in and points the gun at the guy and immediately is Gets like, like swatted. Like, yeah. Yeah. And Cousineau standing there like watching in the house. Him. Like, yeah. So this entire time, like Cousineau has had the trust of this guy because and it, because Cousineau is fucking terrified that he's gonna murder his family. Yeah, and sells out that trust be- because he fucking loved Janice, and you know, yeah, he doesn't love Barry. He never has. Yeah, there's that whole interrogation scene between uh, Janice's father and which I mean, I think that was the most emotionally violent of everything else. Yeah, literally just repeating, "Do you love my daughter? Do you love my daughter? Why are you? Why are you protecting Barry? Yeah." yeah. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. Jesus. We haven't even talked about Cristobal and... <laughs> oh, my God. God. Holy shit. Oh, was, that was fucking wild. That was a good bow, though. I'm glad that they're together. Yeah, Cristobal and Novo, Novo Hank. Novo Hank, yeah. Novo Hank, yeah. Fucking... It's interesting, because like they, I feel like in the first half of the season, they had more screen time. Yeah. And then for like the last half, it was kind of like... Meh. Not meh, but, like, they didn't have a lot more going on. I mean, they had a conflict, but it was less, like... Oh, it was more external, I guess. It was very... It's... They had a... What is yeah. it? Like, uh, Cristobal and Hank had a secret relationship that they were hiding from their yeah. related things, because Barry basically fucked everything up by killing both... Yeah, both yeah. sides, the Chechnyans yeah. and the Bolivians, and then the fucking DA from Medium shows up... <laughs> yeah fucking, it's a fucking oh my god and is like i fucking knew you're you're gay cristobal fuck you because he's married to uh that guy's daughter yeah and then like uh barry plants a fucking bomb and has a oh yeah <laughs> fuck and what then a saves uh what is it cristobal and uh sends him over to hank's house but Which then sweet. cristobal's wife finds out and shows up shows up and and like kidnaps Crystal Ball and then sends him through like conversion therapy, basically. Yeah, like literally electrocuting him in the last season. And then some, I don't even remember how Noho and the. I, there was like a lion? Captured. Yeah, yeah, a lion that fucking ate his, the rest of uh, the Chechenians. And, yeah. Uh, uh, Bolivians, you Boli- mean? Oh, no, it's because um, it was in. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, Chechens. in the prison scene. Yeah. yeah. And then, oh my God. It was it was a whole it was, that was a whole it. idea. Watch it. Go watch it. Watch it if you haven't. But I yeah, um fucking great. Fucking, fucking great, great television. television. Holy shit. <sighs> My favorite meme has been that um uh from when fucking Zoolander was on SNL. Yeah. With uh <laughs> what what the fuck is Bill Hader's character's name? Um Stefan. Stefan, yeah. yeah. And it's like these are two of the best TV directors right now. No joke. Legitimately, Literally, yeah, it yeah. Is. No, fucking a hundred percent. Fuck. And it's wild. It's wild. It's that crazy. These, I don't know. I think we need more. Like, I need. We need more television like this, man. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's like a weird golden age, especially after like um. I keep thinking of like, it's really kind of shitty that like it's um, what is it? Uh, Severance is on Apple Plus and uh uh HBO Max and oh, uh, Barry's on HBO, so we'll probably have a little bit more like uh. Leeway. Leeway, leeway yeah. yeah but like fucking severance doesn't really severance yeah because like it, that really was spread by word of mouth but they don't anything. really fucking need that much honestly no like, yeah they don't it's in terms a, of the content of the show it's more it's like fucking brilliant yeah. yeah but like i don't know i'm trying to think of like it, it, it feels like these shows are higher i'm gonna i'm gonna say a controversial opinion Ooh. i think i like these shows more than i like breaking bad whoa yeah i'm not even like in a like as a bit i think these shows are probably both better well, I think they're definitely both in their prime. Yeah, they're both in their prime right now. They're and it's not both over. Like, so yeah, they right? could get worse. <laughs> <laughs> they could, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, okay, we're three seasons in. And like, I know it's it's really hard to compare all TV shows to like fucking any Breaking other Bad. TV or even Breaking Bad. But yeah. like, I, I would put them on par, honestly, as would, of this moment. I was thinking, yeah, I think definitely at like the height of Breaking Bad, for sure. Yeah. Like, and I honestly, mean, like content wise, not like people well, loving I mean, even it. Even just was. being consistently good. Yeah. Like, I think that, and consistently good and high quality and actually kind of talking about. Because Breaking Bad it. had a problem with consistency at the end, right? That's what I remember. Um, I think there were some times, I don't remember mm-hmm. to the best of my ability. I remember liking pretty much all of it, but I know. Um, I, I don't know remember. people were like upset about the last couple of seasons, I think. Maybe. It felt like a not as bad as Game of Thrones, but like 
I remember but people like, being um, like, what the fuck is going on? I think it might have had a dip in the, like, l- later half. I think it was probably, like, kind of going up and then a little bit down, but yeah. then kind of came back for the fifth season. Because I remember, I think the season finale everyone liked. Yeah. And that's, I mean, compared to Game of Thrones, that gets shit on all the time. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't it, think it it's went definitely down as bad yeah. as Game um, of Thrones. It definitely, like, if there is a dip being such high quality... It's probably it's, still all high oh quality. Oh yeah, it's all yeah. So like, people are gonna complain about fucking anything, man. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. But I don't know. I I so far with Barry and and, and to extend Severance, yeah, I don't really fucking see. Um, I, I just hope they get the accolades they earned. This yeah. is a like fucking. I I'm if anyone has any other show re- recommendations because we have nothing now. Well, we have to watch Succession. We do, and we yeah. were gonna watch Supernatural, but Supernatural is like eleven seasons. It's eleven seasons, <laughs> an hour long each, and I'm like. Where's the 22 minutes? <laughs> Meanwhile, I go to succession. Oh, yeah. Hour and a half episode. Let's fucking go. Let's you know do it, it, baby. Uh, but fuck. yeah, fuck. All right. All right. You want to do ads? Let's do it. Oh, my God. Ad! What? Welcome to the ad read. Oh, my God. Hey, are you liking this podcast so far? You fucking know it, baby. Well, then you should go fucking like, subscribe, hit the bell on YouTube, rate us five stars on Spotify and Apple and wherever else you're listening to your podcast. And remember, share, share it. Share it, please. Share it with all your epic friends. You know, with all your epic, epic friends. friends. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. this. <laughs> it's been a week, guys. I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. Yeah. But hey, if you're watching this, and you want to support us financially. There's a couple ways you can do it. What, what are um, they, Josh? Well, on YouTube, you yeah. can get a YouTube Premium. You get no ads uh, that we insert into the thing. That's pretty cool. And you can also do super thanks as well, and we'll get like a like a little. You can comment and put a little tip on it. That'll be nice. And uh, we'll or read them read like they're like yeah. it's a copy, as long as it's not racist. As long as it's not racist or transphobic, transphobic homophobic, or homophobic, anything yeah. bad. Pride Month. Pride Month. Fuckers. But and yeah, Indigenous Peoples Month. And Indigenous Peoples Month. Fuckers. Fuckers. But yeah, so yeah. there's that. Similarly, you can go to buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR. We'll do the same thing. It's only three bucks a coffee. Indeed. And if you want exclusive content, early releases, and ad free releases, fucking go on over to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR. It's a dollar a month a minimum. You can choose to go up if you want. Do whatever you want. Right now, we're, yeah, right now in the process of trying to figure out what to save for new equipment. We're thinking about getting new microphones and lights. And True. Eventually, we do TikTok live streams. We're going to want to get a uh, iRig. Yeah, I think I like, might make that new goal on buying me a coffee. Yeah, do get the, the iRig. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it'll be like probably 120 bucks after processing fees. Truth. So we'll put 120 goal on uh, buy me a coffee. We'll read all your stuff out, and that'll help us be able to do pretty high quality fucking tiktok live streams you know it baby but uh yeah that's it we don't have any coffees this week or super thanks from what i can tell but it's all good but it's all good we'll see you guys uh in the the rest of the podcast Woo! back to the show bye uh, bye bye oh you know what time it is what after the red second let's we'll see how red affects your uh your uh flag not that much oh shit i'm not gay anymore no oh no <laughs> it's e- it's evil can't be pan. gay on reddit <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm so worried because uh, 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 we, we did the warm up not recording that I f- somehow fucked up the recording of the cameras. Yeah. But I just saw we're all good. I just I made myself anxious for no reason. Sorry. No, we're fine. <laughs> all right, but welcome to the Reddit segment, MFers. Welcome. Are you fucking ready for this banger, Josh? I, I hope so. Are you I'm fucking ready. ready? Josh, are you fucking ready? <laughs> oh, shit. Are you fucking ready for oh, this? Oh, shit. I'm ready. Let's go. Hey. Let's fucking go. Okay. Right. I've. 20 male, been invited to a friend's 19 female, amazing birthday getaway. But my girlfriend, 20 female, is mad she wasn't invited. Ooh. <sighs> Let's go. I want to see. Get into this. It was it's a getaway, but it's only me and her. And it's um <laughs> yeah. there's a jacuzzi in the actual room. <laughs> They're gonna put roses on the bed. <laughs> and she texted me bring condoms and then bring. a winky face emoji. <laughs> Weird. She's, she said anyway, my gonna, girlfriend's mad at me. I don't know why. <laughs> she said I was gonna blow <laughs> blow the shit out of your cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta censor that. How about that, huh? Cut I'm that. G- I'm gonna ride your. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All Let right, me read right, the okay. fucking post all about right, yes, before you say all anything. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, against God. <laughs> So Jess was my girlfriend's friend first, and they've known each other a lot longer than I've known Jess, which is why my girlfriend is upset. I'm sure that's why. Okay. Okay. (laughs) However, in the two years my girlfriend and I have been together, Jess and I have also become pretty great friends. We play video games together basically daily and usually hang out IRL together or with a group like three to five times a month. Yeah, we got a gamer saying IRL, dude. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) 
So for Jess's birthday, she only wanted to bring along a small group of her closest friends, and it's going to be a four-day vacation at her parents' summer home. The plan is to do a lot of fun stuff. Disney, snorkeling, boat rides, etc. Oh, this is happening in Florida? Are you fucking kidding you me? Fucking Yo, we could find it. this guy? We could fucking find Hell this guy. Yeah. Let's, go, let's go find him. Oh my god, this is very high energy. I love this. She invited her brother, me, and three girls from her and my girlfriend's friend group. I don't, I see no problem with this. Just why why two is everyone dudes getting... and four girls, yeah, baby? Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Hell yeah. I was kind of surprised that she considered me to be one of her closest friends, but I guess it sort of makes sense when you consider that we technically spend a lot of a ton of time together just shooting the shit. If you count just <laughs> idling and Discord calls while playing video games. My girlfriend has felt pretty snubbed, you think? About not getting invited, since, especially since I was. I know that you're supposed to listen with empathy, validate people's feelings, and do no, all that, that good stuff. No, that is not being said right now. It no, is. it isn't. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'll say that sentence again so everybody can yeah, hear that please, again. Yeah, please. I need it again. <laughs> I know that you're supposed to listen with empathy, validate people's feelings, and do all that good stuff. So I did. I said it was completely reasonable to feel hurt that you were being excluded. However, she thinks it's obvious that I can't go to her own friend's birthday party without her. And I don't think that's reasonable at all. <laughs> Bro, your girlfriend knew her before you did. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a little pissed off just from that. Bro, if, if like our mutual friend Jordan was like, hey, come over to our summer home, Sarah, for our fucking birthday party. Even if it's not sexual at all. <laughs> yeah, it I feels like... Fucking, you would be fucking pissed. I'd be like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking, uh, fucking awful. Uh, I feel like her friendship with Jess and my friendship with Jess are separate things. And I'm just going to one of my friend's birthdays that she's not invited to, which is reasonable. <laughs> We've been arguing about this for a while now, and I really think I should be able to go. I'm having difficulty communicating my side of the argument to her. Probably because yeah, you don't you're have not, a fucking argument. Yeah, you're not difficultly. Yeah, this is you've said it pretty perfectly here. Actually, I think you've already you've already if you can put it into words. Yeah, onto into a Reddit fucking <laughs> post <laughs> with like an yeah. like an essay format with sources. Like shit, bro, bro. How how difficult? I, I don't think it's difficult to say you're unempathetic. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I so. I think you said that a little bit too easily, actually. High key. Um, I'm having difficulty communicating my side of the argument to her, and she's not really budging. How should I approach this? Too long, didn't read. Girlfriend isn't invited to a friend's birthday and thinks it means I oh, also a can't go. A just, just, just a random a friend. friend. Just yeah. somebody. Is it still up? Hold on. Oh, it's been removed. Well, so it got removed? <laughs> yeah, it got removed. Holy shit. We were going to do this last week, but then we had a mental breakdown. So Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Don't worry. You know, 40 minutes gone. <laughs> yeah, cool. It was great. Um, Top comment is, this is messy as hell, and if you're smart, you won't go. But, like, Sarah, that's only if he's smart. But my favorite part about this is, not just that the guy is obviously oblivious that this girl wants to fuck the shit out of him, <laughs> yeah. but also, like, Bro. he's legitimately just going to throw away his relationship because he's like... Bro, Disney. <laughs> Boat rides. That's bro, fucking epic. Bro, it's not even like Universal. It's not even like no, a good theme Disney. park. It's I'm fucking like, Disney World. I'm gonna go i I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ride the Epcot ball ride. That's gonna be fun, dude. <laughs> it's like, bro, I get to go to Epcot? Bro, I get to go on the carousel of yeah. progress. I don't know why my girlfriend's so mad at me. What a <laughs> it's like really fun carousel of progress. <laughs> Are you kidding? What a fucking idiot, it's dude. It's so funny. Dude, if okay. Riding the teacups, sad because your girlfriend just broke up with you. <laughs> oh. With the Mickey ears on. Yeah, fucking. With the fucking Mickey ears on, eating a fucking. Bro, why would you even want to go to candy? Disney right now, dude? Who would Jesus. ever want to go? Yeah, it's, it's a fucking COVID. 100 degrees outside here. Are you fucking kidding me? This is true. You have to pay $15 just to go on one ride after you pay your $400 ticket. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, no, don't go to Disney. Why would guys. you? Okay, and also, ladies, why would you spend four hundred dollars plus fifteen per each ride just to suck the dick of one of your friend's boyfriends? 
That's that you crazy. You uh, what's this fuck you money that everyone has all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? I don't know. I mean, she has a fucking summer you house. A, you have a summer house? Her parents' summer house. So, I Dude, mean, your friends fucking live close to that summer house. No fucking way. <laughs> I know for a fact. Uh, I don't know. Okay, your girlfriend was right. That is a snub. You shouldn't go. If you do, you will kill her relationship with this friend and you will have created a situation where your girlfriend will feel in competition with this friend. What you want is reasonable and isn't your fault, but there isn't a way to make this not you choosing uh, her over your girlfriend. From an outside perspective, what your friend did was also blatantly rude towards your girlfriend, but that yeah. doesn't seem to bother you. Yeah. That's the funny part, I think, to like, me. He's just like, I don't give a fuck. Give Whatever, a fuck. you got snubbed, Disney. fuck you. Snorkeling. I'm going to go snorkeling. <laughs> like, oh my God. Are you five? That's Dude, what I snorkeled when I went on a fucking Disney cruise. <laughs> You're just laying face down in water. I will say snorkeling is pretty fun. I would go snorkeling I mean, it again. It probably looks fun and cool, but, but like, like... Go with a Groupon. With a Groupon with your girlfriend, yeah. Yeah, later. You know, do it yourself. Don't be like, I got a, this epic birthday party this, coming up. It's so I, funny I think it's just weird, dude. Or, or what's the next thing you're gonna do? Fucking zipline while you're at it? You're gonna get... You're gonna get a fucking two thousand... Like, you're gonna spend $50 and wear 200 pounds worth of ziplining gear? Yeah. Just to go wee. <laughs> wee. Okay. I think you just want to hear people tell you that Jess is into you. You want a fun trip and the attention of two girls. Congratulations. I mean, literally, though, yeah. And then OP responded with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven question marks. Jess and I are completely happy as friends, and neither of us is into the other. I'm very happy in my relationship, and I'm very sure that neither of us would ever betray my girlfriend like that. <laughs> And then somebody else responded, I'm very happy in my relationship. Then the answer to this little conundrum is easy. Jess, I really appreciate the invite. If there's not room for my partner, I think I'll have to yeah, decline. just fucking go to Disney a different time, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, leave and just go to Disney a different time, my guy. Jesus Christ. Dude, you're, dude, oh my fucking... <sighs> We're just gonna go to a. We're just gonna go to a, a a cabin in the woods. You know, it'll be a really intimate setting for my birthday, and then we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go uh, hiking up this mountain, and it's gonna be at Lovers Lake. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're just gonna sit in our cars and look at the stars together. <laughs> yeah, and nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. No, nothing at all. And li I mean, listen. I usually hate these kind of um, responses where it's like you're just assuming that men or women can't like be controlled of their own bodies when they're in like a no, yeah, because like, like obviously everybody has bodily autonomy and it doesn't always mean cheating and it's kind of ridiculous to think that. But it is just in general disrespectful to your partner. To yeah, that's the create main a thing. situation like that and, and then not like, feel it also, bad about it. Yeah, because it also seems like you're bragging about like talking on Discord every day and just idling not even talking to one another but still being in the same that's what makes it feel like more of a romantic thing as opposed to just yeah. a platonic friendship to me at it's least it's like how much you guys talk like i i have close friends where we talk a lot but like yeah. we don't talk that much oh my god yeah literally yeah i'll go insane <laughs> I'll go fucking insane if I talk to my friends that much. Fucking, yeah. Like, literally, like, I can't fathom that, like, just <laughs> holding up in my office, fucking, like, hey, let's go on Discord real quick. Let's just, let's just stay here. And <laughs> let's just stay here together. Let's stay here together and do this. Now, yeah, I, just I feel, feel like, your presence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know, But man. then, like, I feel like, yeah, spending, it's when you're, like, spending all this money on, again, a person that, like, when it's, like, what is it? The fucking he has not known her as long as his girlfriend has known her too i think that's the really telling thing yeah that's the part that's like shitty as fuck i i absolutely agree yeah um jesus okay fucking somebody said what did jess say when you asked her why she didn't invite your girlfriend and the guy goes uh I mean, I didn't ask her specifically why she didn't invite my girlfriend, but the generic reason she's yes. given for why my girlfriend and other people weren't invited was that it's not a reflection of how she feels about them at all. She just chose the four absolutely closest friends and wanted to keep it small. That's not... That's not a reason. That's not a reason, and also you said you didn't ask the question. <laughs> yeah, so... I would want more specifics. If a normal person would ask more specific question, like, absolutely. Okay, so how is my girlfriend not more of a close friend when you guys known each other longer? 
Yeah. Checkmate. That's it. That's it. Checkmate. I don't know. Like what, uh, well, yeah. Are you triggered, Libs? I don't fucking know. I fucking love how clueless this guy is. That's Such why I chose idiot. this one. Yeah. He's just like, bro, I fucking love Disney. Hell yeah. And his girlfriend's like, wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> wait. What? What's up? <laughs> See, huh? I would be more offended that I'm dating a Disney adult. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Right, I don't know. That's what an it. oblivious guy. Yeah. It's so funny to that's me. That's really fucking funny. All right, let's see. What are the odds that my story got deleted? Woo! What are the odds? What are those odds? Sarah, tell me the fucking odds. 70-30. 70-30? Okay, let's see. Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> Again, not... Oh, oh, okay. Reddit's decided. Okay, cool. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I, Interesting thing, I guess, am I the asshole just tells people now? What, what the community is. have said, yeah. That's funny. It's yeah, like, so I'm, just, I'm spoiled now. Yeah. So this is from an I'm I the Asshole. Nice. Am I the asshole for not wanting my fiance's dad to walk her down the aisle? Okay. Context. Me, 26 male, and my fiance's 24 female, dad, 49 male, don't have a good relationship. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. He and I don't like each other at all. Okay. He snoops over every personal thing and acts like he gets a say. I admit I'm not a saint either, but we just don't get along. I told my fiance I will be limiting contact with him, but since but she can visit, see, and talk to him whenever she wants. All right, so wedding planning has just begun, and we agreed on everything except when I found out that my fiance was going to make her dad walk her down the aisle. Now, I understand that this part of the wedding tradition, but the thought of seeing him walking with my future bride somehow makes me feel uncomfortable. What? Okay. On the other hand, I also read about several brides having someone else walk them down the aisle. So I told my fiance about it, and she was shocked. See, she said she couldn't believe that I would be this selfish to try to dictate whether her dad could walk her down the aisle. She told me she loves him even if I don't get along with him, and she wants him as her father to walk her down the aisle and no one else. She said I should respect her and wish as the, her wish, should respect her wish as the bride, but I said that as the groom, I wasn't feeling comfortable with it. An argument ensued, and then she still said I was being unreasonable and selfish to expect her to agree with my request. She has been cold-shouldering me now, and I now feel guilty for opening, about, opening up about how I felt. Am I the asshole for not wanting her dad to walk her down the aisle? Jesus. So that's the whole thing? They that's the whole thing. He no doesn't... other explanation as to what's wrong with the dad. Yeah, because like I, now I need to know, like, what did the dad do? <laughs> yeah. Like, he, how he bad ate, is it that he can't even look at this man? He ate an extra slice of pizza at the, the party. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, fucking kill him. Yeah, fucking kill him. Uh, let's fucking go. So, literally, um, what is it? Apparently, Reddit has decided you're the asshole. Really? Yeah, they've just decided you're the because asshole. Because he didn't give it. Well, I mean, like, I feel like... There's not enough information, right? No, I, I feel like that. But also, like, it's really weird, because it feels like, um... Did he say in any comments what the dad did? So, what is it? Fucking, um, what is it? You're the, someone just said, the top comment is, you're the asshole in no fucking way are you mature enough to get married. That's pretty harsh. I want to know what the dad did. Yeah, that's the that's thing. That's all it's I, like, care I can't about. figure out at all. I don't think the OP even responded. I think, yeah, because everyone's calling him an asshole. Like, literally. <sighs> I mean, off of what he said, like, yeah, he is. But, I mean... What did the dad do? Did the dad run a fucking background check on him? And like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. It's weird because like the attitude that this guy has with his uh, like the dad is to like, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. I'm saying it. You and know, then he doesn't say it. I'm saying it. Uh, he and I don't like each other at all. That's it. Oh, literally. Yeah. Just me and my fiance's dad don't have a good relationship. So like the, the fiance does have a good relationship with the dad. Right. Okay. Well, that's a little selfish then. Yeah. That's really fucking like, like he can't put it away for one day. He can't put it away for one day. For some reason, I thought I read the story where it was like the fiance didn't have a good relationship with the dad. No, oh. but that doesn't, that, that doesn't, doesn't happen. Sense, I, no. I, 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 I don't know why I thought or read that that way. Cause Weird. reading it back, it's like, yeah, this guy just has a problem just cause he's, gets into his personal space and he also doesn't call himself a saint either so what yeah like that doesn't make sense like what does that mean personal space like he doesn't so, have any boundaries he snoops over every personal thing and acts like he gets a say i admit i'm not a saint either but we just don't get along 
I mean, I would butt heads with somebody who is like, what's going on in your life? That's wrong. You should do it this way. Why aren't you doing it that way? I'm judging you. I would be, yeah, I would fucking butt heads with them, but I don't know if it would be so bad that I would excommunicate them You're from my not, wedding. Yeah. You need to cut contact with <laughs> your father right now. I swear to God. If that's the only thing that's happened, if he's like, how are you fucking my daughter? You're doing it wrong. You're doing, <laughs> you're fucking my daughter wrong. You got to do it differently. Yeah, like, like, then I would be like, okay, yeah, yes, you are yeah, a predator. You're, you're a you creep. should tell your fiance that. Yeah. But if your fiance and it's her like dad chill with is her chill dad. with her dad, yeah, why I the mean, fuck? I just think that's just like a fundamental incompatibility. At that point, yeah, to yeah. the person you're getting married to. Like, yeah, like if you're so willing to be like, you can't have someone you else walk down the aisle can't do that, with yeah. you. Walk it, alone. I think it is a little controlling. I think especially if you do have a problem with somebody, there's some level of maturity where you're like, I can still be in the same room with them. It's well, just yeah, I don't that's like the them. Thing is like, I feel like that's, you're right, 100%. That is just straight up controlling. Like, yeah. fucking, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. Your mom and I have butt heads once or twice before. I still love her. <laughs> And I would yeah. still want her to be there at like our ceremony or something. You yeah, know what right. I mean? Like literally. Yeah. Fuck. No, it's not like I'm my not mom. gonna be like get her out Just of there. Just fucking sucker punch <laughs> like my mom. If if your fucking fiance if, if your fucking father comes to me during my it's my wedding. It's all about <laughs> it's me. It's my wedding. It's not our wedding. It's my wedding. It's rare that you see like a groomzilla. Yeah, you know, literally. that's fun. I think. I think I that's think it's great. Like literally, men deserve the right to be absolute. Uh, never mind. I was gonna say terrible people. And I'm like, you know what? No, they don't. Actually, ter- That's awful. I'm actually more inclined to let women be terrible people <laughs> than men. Huh. Jesus. Damn. Interesting. Interesting thing you just learned about yourself. I just learned yeah. about myself. Yeah. Do you want to rewind to uh, 40 minutes ago when you were talking about elephant rights? <laughs> Listen, elephant rights. Actually, you know, elephant rights and robot rights at the same level. Okay. Women's rights. The gay the gay rights a little bit more than women's yeah, rights. Okay, all right, yeah. And then men's rights are like, damn. I care shit. about it. I care about it. This is not caring about it at all. Uh, but I care about it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're the asshole. The more I think about it, I'm like, yeah. Actually, you just don't like the guy. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I mean, he needs to explain. <laughs> That's what it is. Were you both like pissing at a urinal and he grabbed your cock? <laughs> Is that is that the invasion of your personal space that you're worried about? Joking about sexual assault on APWS. But yeah, I'm like legit. I'm like, <laughs> well, what, what is yeah, the thing? What, what's the thing? What did he do? I need to know. It has to be did bad. Did he call you a slur? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Something bad could have happened and I will be on your side, man. But you got to tell me. Also, it's really weird to say I found out that my fiance was going to make her dad walk her down the aisle. It was going to make her dad walk her down. It's like very strange verbiage. Yeah, which I guess is why it's kind of controlling in that make way. Her dad, because isn't it? Yeah, it's traditionally yeah, the father usually, walks. You would expect that. It's not like and she's then, making a random person do it, you know? I feel like... Well, I mean, like, if you don't have a dad, yeah. Like, you yeah, do have then, to find somebody else oh, to yeah, fucking walk yeah. down the aisle. But, like, I guess, I what is it? Like, um, since we already know that the only real bad blood is between the him and the, and, father, and the father... And uh, the yeah, Holy he doesn't Ghost. have the way to... <laughs> and he's also said that she can see her dad. Yeah, so, like, why the fuck... So he's not like yeah. Wait, why can she see? Why wouldn't but she, she be able to see her dad? Wait, be no. part of the ceremony. That's weird. Yeah, why? Why can't she see her dad? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, like wait fucking. A second, wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, there's a lot of he's things like, I read. Letting her see her dad is <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Holy sh! Why did I read this so casually? What the <laughs> fuck? Whoa, this is uh, I, man. I'm guys. I'm rusty. All right, but uh, <laughs> I thought you were Josh. I'm not. Sarah, I'm not, um, we're, we're talking about this later. <laughs> Everything I see is behind glass. Because of my glasses. Fuck. God. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, everyone, I guess everyone's right in this case of calling him an asshole, actually. Damn, bro. Yeah. Yeah, asshole. We got an asshole, guys. I let her see her dad. Solved it. Solved it. Oh, we didn't solve the other one. Nice. We did it. We did both. All right, we solved every. We solved that. We solve everything, and now it's time for the listener solvings. <laughs> Turn purple. Turn fucking purple. Turn fucking, fucking purple. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, we got fucking 
eight listener stories to get through, guys. And it's 8 p.m. What a coincidence. Make a wish, everybody. Hell yeah. Well, wish on 8 o'clock. All right, fucking... This is from Anonymous She They. This is a long one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> on today's episode of We Both Regret Saying Last Week We Were Gonna Do Eight sto- Ten Stories Total. Yeah, fuck. All okay. Right. Three years ago, my uh, 25 female best friend, 24 male, of a decade kicked me out of his apartment because I flirted with his friend. <laughs> All right. Well, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> My now ex-best friend, let's call him John, and I were best friends since middle school. For some background, my friends and ex-girlfriend always got a bad vibe from John, but I would excuse a lot of his bad behavior because I thought he was a good friend to me and we'd been close for so long. Looking back, I see that he was super manipulative, telling me no one will ever get me like he does, calling me ugly and trying to damage my oh. self-esteem because I was too confident and needed to be, quote-unquote, knocked down a peg. <laughs> he, I'm, just, I'm just bringing you down to our level. I love that so many people are like, I don't like him. And she's like, no, he's great. And he's like, fuck you, you're ugly. <laughs> you're fucking ugly. Yeah, fuck join you. the rest of us down here from your high horse. But also, I fucking get it, man. Like, fucking... You just have that friend that you've been friends with for so long because they did one good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'm not judging. I would also, he would also sexually harass me, touch me inappropriately, pick me up no matter how many times I said no, try to pressure me into sending him my nudes, and so much more. I know, I know. So many red flags. I don't know how I let it all slide. Wait, wait, we've yeah, all don't been worry. There, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyway, my senior year of college, I finally got a chance to visit him where he went to college and met some of his friends. I really hit it off with one of them and we started texting. John didn't like that. He accused me of leading the friend on, even though I'd been clear I wasn't looking for a relationship. A few weeks later, I went to visit John again. And while I was there, the friend and I hooked up. It was fun and casual and we were both on the same page. It was nice to hook up with someone I liked as a person, but wasn't romantically attracted to. The next day, John and I hung out with another of his friends, and unlike friend one, I was super emotionally attracted and physically to friend two. John was so mad at me for flirting with friend two that he refused to talk to me for the rest of the night and ghosted me for over two weeks. Even after learning my grandma was in the hospital. Jesus. What a good friend. What an epic friend. Yeah, it sounds Jesus, awesome. Jesus, I'm sorry. What the fuck, man? He eventually got over it and started talking to me again, but still insisted I was a bad person and a slut for leading on friend one. Any person who calls you a slut is a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, already an asshole. Yeah. Unless they like, you know, it's like fucking, they say it in fun. You yeah. Know? When you're doing fun things. When you're doing fun, like golfing. fun stuff, like golfing. <laughs> Call your friends sluts while they're golfing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, friend two and I started talking and I fell hard, but John insisted he was only talking to me because I'm quote unquote easy to sleep with. Not for John. John's been trying John's for been a trying long time a and little, it's very hard for hard, him to sleep yeah. with you. <laughs> and that all his friends are only nice to you because they're, because they are want to fucking bang you. Yes, that's an exact quote. <laughs> I have a screenshot. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm mean to you because I want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately. Girls drool. <laughs> I'm awesome and girls awesome drool. And girls drool. He also told friend two that I'm a lesbian toying with a straight fantasy before inevitably going back to women. I'm bi, always has, always have been, and have came out and came out to him when I was 15. He knew full well I was capable of loving and dating a man, even though I'd only seriously dated women. I. What a piece of garbage. Yeah, already. I don't like this guy already. <laughs> but just, when you add the biphobia on onto more it. More and more, yeah. That's when I start want to take out the boxing gloves. <sighs> Christ, I need a LaCroix, Jesus. A few months later, I'm back in town and staying at John's place for a few days. He was hosting a house show in his basement, and friend two came over to see me and our other friend, let's call him Greg. That's a great name. Uh, friend two brought some weed, decriminalized in this city, so not Fuck even yeah. a crime. And the three of us smoked a little on the porch, but some of the smell came in through the window. John was pissed and told us to get out of the house and that he didn't want to see friend's, friend two's face after the house show. Bear in mind, John was selling alcohol to minors in the basement, and the house always smelled like weed from his roommate smoking upstairs. Greg, friend two, and I got Taco Bell, and John wouldn't answer any of my texts saying I was sorry and asking when I could come back. All my stuff was there except for my phone. 
I crashed at friend two's place and John didn't text me until the next morning when he said, you can come get your stuff at 10. I had taken the bus to get there. My $80 ticket home was for three days later and I had no other close friends in the city. Luckily, friend two let me crash with him. More on that later. My friends and family have since helped me realize John was a textbook narcissist and wanted to own and control me. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's very controlling. Literally using everything that you've told him against you. <laughs> like It's just, I don't know. It's a little funny because you're such a bad bitch that you're just out here smoking, getting Taco Bell and fucking people. And he's like, why won't you conform <laughs> oh, yeah. to what I want? And it's funny to see how kind of pathetic this guy is, man. Yeah, and he's literally You like, really did show him how pathetic yeah, he is. Yeah, because he's actions. also just selling alcohol to fucking minors it's and then giving you. such a fucking scumbag, bro. Yeah, what a douchebag. You're dude. like this cool lady that everybody wants, <laughs> and you're smoking weed and eating Taco Bell. But no, no. And having relationships, and this fucking grown ass man is selling alcohol to minors. It's funny as fuck. Hilarious. <sighs> he forgave and has since talked to the other two, the men involved, but not me. And I haven't spoken to him since. We've run into each other in person two or three times. I'm now very close with the people he used to be friends with. And they have since cut ties with him for his various toxic behaviors. He reached out to me over text uh, when his girlfriend left him but didn't apologize. And just said, I know what happened was fucked up. And that he wanted me back in his life. <laughs> I responded that I'll always love him and miss him, but I can't have him in my life unless I see real self-improvement and remorse for the way he emotionally manipulated and hurt me for years. No reply. It all turned out great for me, though. The night I got kicked out, I told friend two how I felt about him, and we've been in a happy, healthy relationship ever since. Aww, so nice. congrats, man. Congratulations. Wow. Bro, fuck that guy. Holy straight shit. Straight up, though, you're out here winning at life, smoking weed, eating Taco <laughs> Bell, and then getting a relationship. And then the fucking... night that this narcissist is selling alcohol to minors <laughs> and getting upset at you for smoking oh, weed. Yeah. Bro, you won. You won. Yeah, that you won. A, yeah, you, that was a story about you winning. That's what it was. Congrats. Holy Congrats. shit. Fuck, bro. Fucking you won. Yeah. I don't do what, what do you want me to say? You fucking <laughs> you killed it. And fuck that guy, too. I know that, yeah, like, holy shit. You have some, you know, like, you know. He was a good friend to you at some point, but from everything that you've said, it doesn't sound like he was. Yeah, no, it doesn't really um, <laughs> seem like the greatest of guys. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I get it. We all have that. We all have a friend that, like, you, you become friends with and then they slowly become more shitty, but you don't want to lose a friend necessarily. It does. Or you look past it, you know? Well, I mean, in general, it's just hard to get friends, man. True, yeah. You know? If it's hard to get friends. It's hard to be cool with people. And so then when you have a friend that just is like... It's an energy vampire where they just kind of show up and they're like a little mean and they're a little mean and then eventually they're like full blown mean with you. Yeah. And you're just like so used to it at that point. You know, like if you put a frog in boiling water, it's just going to hop out. But the way you boil a frog is you put it in cold water and then slowly turn up the temperature. Yeah. Or you just cover the pot. <laughs> True. You smother it. Could be that too. Yeah. You can do that too. <laughs> But no, fucking, um, yeah, man, shit. Yeah. All these little things just add up, you know? So, I mean, yeah, I'm not judging you at all. And I don't really judge anybody who sends in a story where it's like, this guy was obviously terrible, and we hung hey, out. Yeah, we all look past, like, bad songs, man. I thought a lot of good people were good, and, or a lot of bad people were good until they, you know, became shitty. Like, fucking shit. Insane, yeah. man. It shit. happens. It's hard to get out, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so no judgment. No judgment. But I'm glad that you're out, and I'm glad you're in a happy relationship. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Congrats. And he sounds dope that he was able to take you in, too. Yeah, honestly, actually helping you out, like, yeah. That's a class act move. Nice. Hell yeah. Fucking solved it, baby. All right, this is a big block of text. Why did I, still, why did I accept this what one? What a mood, right? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I All think right. it probably wasn't, and then we put into an email. And, and now it looks phones, big. It looks big. Yeah, it's probably it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just an asshole again. Yeah, it's all the problems Standing you the have record. with this are valid. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, this is from Sunny with a Side of Pain. Ooh. She, her. Yeah, we got Fuck a creative. Fuck, that's a great what name. Are you, a writer? <laughs> <laughs> got creative here. All right, so. Uh-huh. I, female 23, broke up with a very toxic ex back in 2019. He cheated, lied, became extremely lazy, and many other things I really don't want to get into. Jesus. I ended things peacefully as both of us were part of the same friend group. One of my best friends of six years, 22 male, was his roommate at the time. The best friend started off on, off and on dating a girl off of Tinder, and I was super supportive of them. 
he had never had a girlfriend before and and to see him finally settle down was really exciting no not a pick me girl story don't worry okay good I know how awkward it can be with a, when a guy you're, you're dating has a girl best friend and I never want to step on any toes. She even got excited for me when I told her about my new guy, a new guy in my life and how I would get I would, how I would be moving. Yeah. I even said I would love for her and her boyfriend to come visit. She agreed and we actually started to make plans for them to come visit like six months after I settled in. Here's why I'm mad. Oh. A month after moving, one of our friends let me know that the girlfriend convinced my best friend of six years to have a threesome with my toxic cheating ex. It's been two <laughs> years since that happened. Oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, man. Yeah, fuck, what that's, the a pretty, fuck? that's pretty wild. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Shit. Gabagool. That's, and that's a, that's another point for listener stories that have made Sarah chokes on fucking... Oh my sh- fucking shit. god. Bryce, hold on. I just lost my spot. I'm Fuck. sorry. No, you're good. Uh, what is it? It's been two years since that happened, and he doesn't know I know. He told me about two weeks ago in a text that he is upset that I haven't talked to him much since moving away, and that he thinks our relationship is dying because of it. That I never texted about visiting plans, and how he hasn't seen me in two years hurts. I kind of want to confront him about it, but I don't know how to go about doing that. I was cool with them being friends with my ex, but the thought of them being with such a toxic and terrible person is really blood boiling. Advice is needed. I don't know what to do. That's fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know, because they could be like, well, it was just sex, but it's also like, there is a but level... But I mean, there's like a, yeah, you're still personally connected. When somebody's fucking so shitty to you, cheats on you, is fucking, you know, emotionally, physically abusive, whatever. And then other people that are in are your friend like group still decide to be friends. Yeah, like, Even if they just decide to be friends, even, even if they just decide to hang out, there's a little bit of like, well, why, wow, yeah, you don't guy, give a shit about me. Cool. Yeah, honestly, I, oh, fuck, I get that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, shit. fun and cool and awesome. But then to go and have sex with them and I don't know why I feel this way but it's very much like why must you do that why must you do that to me why me but then it's also like well you weren't it's their business but I don't know I don't know but then also I mean I kind of I get it though I think you're allowed to be upset I get yeah you're allowed to be upset yeah (laughs) and like you know I think (laughs) I mean, you're always you, allowed to be upset. Yeah, and, yeah for whatever that, it's reason. It's your feelings. Yeah, your feelings are going to be valid. I don't, do you confront the friend? I would just leave. <laughs> yeah, I would just kind of bounce, maybe. Me, personally, I would just not respond. I'd be like, this is such a messy thing. I remember, um, yeah, fucking... I, I mean, I think I've told the story before, but I used to have a film partner. Oh, uh, fuck, you're right. Yeah. That, this is kind of similar. Yeah, huh? I had a film partner, and um, he, uh, what is it? And I was friends with this uh, uh, girl that basically um, had a boyfriend in a different state, and all three of us were basically going to the same school. And I remember being, like, weirded out by this girl when I first started. And, I mean, this is my, and I chalked it up at the time to internalized misogyny. But, like, you know, I met her and, like, I remember, like, I was hanging out with you a lot at the film thing. Yeah. And I remember her coming up and being, like, all touchy with you. And I was just, like, sitting there, like, (laughs) all right, well, cool. Yeah. And, you know, great, awesome. And, uh, but I trusted you. But I was, like, I just don't trust her. And I didn't trust her off the bat. And then I got to know her and And started trusting her a little bit. Because she would (laughs) talk all the time about how she loved her boyfriend and (laughs) everything was awesome between them. And she loves her boyfriend so much and blah, blah, blah. And, you know. Yeah. And then uh, my friend and film partner (laughs) fucked her. (laughs) Yeah. And (laughs) then she cheated on her boyfriend. Immediately, like, I had to cut that shit off immediately because it gets messy at that point. And, like, how the fuck am I supposed to, like, keep that, like. Not only that, then he told you not to tell me. Yeah, and then like the next day I told you, and at first I didn't tell you because I was like, "Oh shit, I should I should help him out." But yeah, then I was you like, "No, yeah, man. I didn't know." But then like, yeah, later on I was like, "Wait, this is kind of fucked up. I gotta tell. Her. She needs to know." Yeah, like well, I yeah. can't just keep this. You can't just tell someone to lie to your partner. Yeah, that's really fucking shitty. That's fucking crazy. But um, so then I was just like, "Well, okay, so she cannot be trusted, actually." Yeah, and then that's when I started to like, "All right, I'm getting out of the film program. I'm." <laughs> I'm not doing the shit well, anymore. Well, you weren't in the film oh, program. Oh, yeah, I was still in digital media, yeah, wasn't I? Yeah, you were I? just I was, helping out. I was switching out. over, yeah, finally. So you just, like, well, and then COVID happened. And then COVID happened, yeah. Oh, my God. So, so yeah, no, yeah, I think at that point, you just gotta get the fuck out of that friend group. Yeah, I would just fucking leave my guys. It's, it's, if, you, if you say anything, the mess is just gonna get worse. Yeah. And it sucks, because you're not gonna get, like, a closure 
but the closure you're gonna have to find is like from yourself because like you're gonna have to just get out of that and like realize that those are shitty people to be with yeah i would just write it off as like these people just don't care about you and your trauma i get that it's like not i know it's like you know i would not i would feel weird shaming people for just having sex but then also, I it's not about that. It's about that they just... This person acted shitty to you, cheated on you, did all these horrible things. They decided to still be friends with that person. And then, and they then decided had to had help him come. That is what it know. is. That yeah, is what that's, it, that's I mean, what, it is. what the no. fuck else are you supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. I would just be like, you know what? Working on personal stuff. That's why I'm not talking to you. Yeah, I'm I don't gonna know. continue like, to do that. So don't expect shit from me. Yeah, fucking get out of that. Yeah, that's fucking. <laughs> I just would. I would go find some friends that are like, wow, that guy's an asshole. Yeah, just say that guy's an asshole. Your friends are kind of assholes for indulging him. You know, like. Yeah, that's like unforgivable. Yeah, a little bit. especially if you. If it was like 10 years from now and he's reformed somehow, yeah, that's a completely different story. This happened after shortly after. That's really yeah, crazy. it's not it's a little it's not great. <laughs> I'm sorry I said it so blatantly, which is the, the cum word, but like that's what it is. That like, is I what mean, it, that's that what is it is. Not, I'm not gonna pretend here that's anything different. That's a good way to say that, actually. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Shit. If you no one makes no one wants to help Hitler come, you know, <laughs> like shit. Yeah, anybody who helped Hitler come, I think should should be tried <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the court of law. You Probably, know? yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Fuck those people. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. There are people out there making your abuser come. Fuck them. That's terrible. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That's awful. Solved it. We did solve it though. We did solve so it. you can't sue us. All right. This is uh, from anonymous she/her. All right. Am I the asshole? Maybe. We don't know yet. We'll see. Mm -hmm. The story took place when I, 21 female, was in my senior year of high school, and it's something I think about a lot. I met my first serious boyfriend halfway through the school year through a mutual friend who became my best friend at the time. We went out for a couple months, and he was the guy I lost my virginity to. At the time, I thought he was the love of my life, and I would have done anything for him. He broke he broke up with me the day before Christmas and I was devastated. Around this time I spent more time at my best friend's house because she was the only person that could make me feel better. She helped me find my inner bad bitch again. I started dressing the way I wanted to and that bothered my ex-boyfriend. He started picking fights with me and would make burner accounts to message me <laughs> Whoa, <what? laughs> again after I blocked him. <laughs> Jeez, people making, are doing making this? 17 different Gmail accounts to make different fucking what a crazy person. Pick up a hobby. Yeah. Start woodworking. Jesus. Play what guitar. The fuck? He started picking fights with me and would make burner accounts message me again after I blocked him. While he was doing all of this, he was dating the girl he told me not to worry about, whom uh, I later course. found out he cheated on me with. Well, what a guy. What a what a and cool. And also, he's dating you and messaging you through burner accounts, so what he's kind of cheating on his new girl with. Also, yeah, trying to do everything he can to, yeah. I mean, you're not cheating with him, obviously, but like, I would be upset <laughs> if I found out you were texting some woman on 15 different accounts, trying to get <laughs> her attention any way possible, <laughs> just, just harassing <laughs> someone. <laughs> Uh, I was an idiot and I let him get in my head. I changed what I wore because it made him happy. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus. My best friend hated him and she had every reason to, but at the time I didn't understand why she hated him because I was stuck. Eventually my ex and I couldn't stop fighting. So I cut contact and moved on with someone else, but things didn't work out. Me being the dumbass I was decided to unblock my ex-boyfriend and message oh, him. Oh no. We reconnected after graduated and after we reconnected after graduation and started hanging out again. We fell right back into our quote unquote normal. We got comfortable so quickly. Like he, we had spent no time apart and I convinced myself it was meant to be. My best friend knew about it and she wasn't happy about it, but she knew I was too happy and stupid to listen to listen. So she supported me through my ups and downs. My ex and I spent almost every single day together when we weren't working I was at his house so often, his mom would buy me snacks that she knew I liked. Damn. It felt like I had a second family, even if things were rough between me and my ex. Things got bad again, and we were arguing almost every day, because in his eyes, I could never do anything right. Someday, he would curse me for existing, because I was quote-unquote too tempting, and other <laughs> days he what? was... And other days he was loving on me 
like he was my boyfriend. <laughs> and like cannibal I was, Lecter? What the fuck? <laughs> I want to eat your skin. <laughs> and other days he was loving on me like he was my boyfriend and like I was the only girl that mattered to him. It was a constant back and forth and it tore me apart piece by piece. I spent more of my time at my best friend's house and she listened to me yell and cry over him so many times. I was an idiot and I still went back to him every single time. Then there was the incident that ended my friendship with my best friend. <sighs> I was going dress shopping with a mutual friend that knew my ex for homecoming because she had invited me to go with her. We invited my ex to come hang out with us and my best friend saw me walking with him around the mall and got mad at me. She said I lied to her about going dress shopping just so I could see him instead of hanging out with her. I explained that I was dress shopping and that our mutual friend and I had invited him to join us and that was all. She was mad that I kept going back to him after everything he did. She told me I was an idiot and she cut contact with me. Mutual friends sent me screenshots of her making posts about me and talking shit about me. Wow, Jesus. I confronted her, we argued, and then cut contact for good. My ex blamed me because she also cut him off completely. I know now that he was a narcissist and abusive as fuck, but I can't help but wonder if it really is my fault that the friendship ended and not my ex's fault. <sighs> So okay, I don't I don't think it's really your fault. I mean, you got you got abused by a you narcissist. Abused, yeah. yeah, so it's not really going to be your fault. You were abused. I will say it's really shitty that your friend was immediately like, "Oh, I'm going to go talk shit about." <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's not a great. Yeah, like normal people don't really do that. Going on Twitter immediately subtweeting, being like, "This is weird." Yeah, I don't know. That's like a weird response to your friend getting abused. I don't know, like... I think that there really is a problem with people thinking, like, not understanding victims and not understanding why they won't leave. Mm. And, um, I think there is a problem where people, like, people legitimately will think, like, you're stupid. You just put that on yourself. The more that you blah, blah, blah. And it's really hurtful to victims, like, you think you're all girl bossy, feminist. <laughs> yeah, right, fucking... And then you turn around and tell a victim that they deserved it because they went back. Yeah, and That's no one not deserves true. to be abused. No one deserves no, to be, yeah. Like, he should have been a good person. He should have been a good person, yeah. That's the real... And, I mean, I understand, it's like, not your being fault. frustrated with somebody for not listening to you. Yeah. But there was a more mature way that she could have expressed that. For sure. Yeah, no, it's very much uh, like fucking... God, how the fuck... Yeah, no, she should have just been more mature about it. Yeah, I yeah mean, Instead it, of immediately freaking out. It just sounds like an immature person yeah. at the time. I mean, and if anything, I might, like, I don't know. If anything, if she reaches out and is like, hey, listen, I'm sorry, like, for what yeah. I did, then I would be like, okay, you can talk to her about it. Because, I mean, it's like a... It sounds like a kid response to this happening. Yeah... Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. I I can't understand being upset at, like, you going over there and basically, like, treating her like a therapist. But I think it's not, a th like, it's not yeah, there's still your a fault of... that she turns around and just starts talking shit. Yeah, it's not your fault at all. God, no, no, I don't think you, I, I think get, cut yourself a little slack. Yeah. You know? For sure. That's what I think. Yeah. Ah, I agree 100% honestly yeah cut yourself some slack and fucking move on from these people because you'll it, find people that are better for you like shit it's just a shame and it's hard to find like true friends that are gonna like actually stay with you yeah through mm. hard shit because like some straight yo I've been depressed and like friends that I thought were gonna last a lifetime are just like can't handle that can't handle that you're even yeah. a little bit depressed <laughs> can't handle that even a little bit God, and I'll be like, I don't think, fucking, yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people that I used to know, like back in fucking high school into college, really understood the depth of my depression. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, fuck. Uh, yeah, it's fucking harder, especially if you like you as a as a man aren't allowed to like feel your feelings. Yeah, so you don't even know. But I mean, yeah, and then they just turn around, and they go, "Fucking fuck you, you're an asshole," and blah blah blah. It's like, well, you're not really trying to understand my side of it. Yeah, ninety percent of the time. As long as somebody isn't just like sitting there insulting you and being a piece of shit to you or hitting you or something, there's something going on in their life that is the reason that they're doing the things that they're doing. Yeah. Even if they are insulting you, they probably got something going on. It doesn't mean that you have to give them sympathy and it doesn't mean that you have to put yourself through whatever abuse that they're throwing at you, but it it, it is an explanation. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, a lot of things can be solved with just being like, why do you do that? 
and then uh, hopefully the other person is being honest and then you come to like a conclusion but it, that requires so much maturity on oh, both yeah, people for sure that nine times out of ten you're gonna have like some 19 year old has a problem with somebody and then they think they're an asshole forever <laughs> Yeah, not great. I mean, like you, me, everyone I've ever known, uh, every fucking... person who sends in a story, and it's like, no, maybe you were got... a little bit of a dick one time, but it doesn't mean yeah. that you are an asshole forever. Yeah, you're not Barry got... Berkman. You know, got, yeah. I mean, you didn't got murder two fifty thumbs people and fucking has to still go through that realization. This guy right here. Yeah, yeah, fucking fuck, bro. Cut yourself some slack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut yourself some slack, man. Jesus. We're just, learn, learn to forgi- forgive yourself, you know? Learn to forgive yourself and learn to forgive... I mean, you don't have to forgive yeah, others. Forgive, you don't yeah. owe forgiveness to anybody. Yeah. But forgive others for yourself. I'm still waiting on many apologies. <laughs> Many double what a digits. F- fucking mood. <laughs> double digits. Double digits. My DMs are open. That's all I'm saying. But <laughs> Mine are not. I do not want to hear from I, you. I want to hear. I want to hear... <laughs> God. You know, fuck man, shit. God, yeah, you're not the you're not not the asshole. Life is just a series of random events. Yeah, and you have to get through it to get to the end. Yeah, and that's it. And that's it. That's it. That's it. It's just learning to get through them, you know. But fucking solved it, baby. Solved it, bitch. Solved it, baby. Just don't rob a store and don't kill a man. Yeah, uh, you know those are you know if you all just you have to them, not yeah. do. <laughs> I think there's a few others, but. <laughs> Mainly those two things. And even you could steal from Walmart. Oh, that's fine. Fuck them. But not like a family owned store. Anarchy. <laughs> yeah, don't rob the bodega. Yeah. Rob the big rob box. Walmart. Yeah. All right. Okay. This next story comes to us from Anonymous. She, her. Oh, shit. Am I the asshole for not inviting my friend to a hotel with some other friends? When I, female 16, started high school, I had made a lot of new friends. Well, one of those friends was kind of bitchy. I liked her at first, but then she just started to get more and more annoying, and I wasn't the only one feeling like this. Everyone else was, too. Now, this friend has talked behind my back with some other friends, and then she told me that my other friends were talking shit about me, but she didn't tell me that she was also talking bad about me with them. She left me completely alone on Halloween in the middle of town to go with the group to a friend's house, but I wasn't allowed to go with them, so they all left me knowing I had nowhere to go and that I would be alone at 11 a.m. at night. What the fuck? On, like, the most dangerous night? Yeah, Jesus. She would hit other people, hit people if she they didn't agree with her or if she was just upset. She would talk shit about everyone. Oh, no. If she, is this someone I know? I know, she, right? She, I'm yeah, like, who is like, this? Fuck. Is this me? Did if I do she, this? <laughs> fuck. Cross-searching the person that sent this, like, oh my god, I went to school with this person. Right. Uh, shit, what bro. Is it? She would hit people if they didn't agree with her or if she was just upset. She would talk shit about everyone. If she didn't like something you were doing, she would start bitching at you. She was always complaining and getting mad at us over nothing. She made fun of my sister's art. What? Was calling my mom a bitch and stuff like oh that. Oh my god. And whenever I invited her over, if we didn't do what she wanted, wanted, she would slam doors and throw stuff at my house <laughs> and other people's houses. Oh my, she's a fucking she's a Tasmanian devil, my yeah. guy. What the fuck? One time we were sleeping at our house and decided... Sorry. You're decided. good. It's all good. One time we decided to sleep at her house and we decided to all sleep in a bed. We were four girls in total. Well, I fell asleep with barely any room on the edge of the bed, and she told the other girls to push me off the bed to make room. <laughs> Thankfully, the other girls said no and told me what she said the next day. It's not uh, funny. I'm so <laughs> sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really crazy <laughs> fucking bitch. Holy shit. <laughs> what a psychopath. She did a lot more stuff. Well, she accidentally overheard us talking about me and a couple of my friends going to a hotel, and she asked about it. Feeling bad, we invited. Feeling bad, we invited her too. While leading up to those days, she was getting obnoxiously bitchy when she just disrespect us a lot. So I made up an excuse to why she couldn't come so that I wouldn't hurt her feelings. But she saw her snap map and started texting me and getting mad at me. She started insulting me, so I just said that I don't want to be friends anymore. Our whole friend group stopped being friends with her, and now she's talking shit about me and spreading rumors about me. I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, she did a lot of stuff. So am I the asshole? I love it. I love this. I I love love it. When people who are just constantly shitting out of their mouths, constantly, 
and then they get like one inkling, like one yeah. percent of the karma back than what they're putting out into the world. They blow immediately up. blow up. They're yeah. like, "How dare you disrespect me?" And it took me a second to realize, "Oh yeah, this happened three months ago when you wrote the story. This isn't. This is a pr- current thing that's going on." I thought for some reason, like, is this from the past somehow? But no, fucking no. This is this now. is real happening now. I'm like, fuck. This is still happening. This is awesome. This Holy is still shit. happening in high schools across America. I know, right? Why haven't we as a society bettered our education system to not let people be this way? That's because bullying uh, teaches kids to uh, listen to their abusers. God. Anyway, let's move on past that. So, yeah, I want to state for the record, you're not the asshole. No. And you shouldn't be friends with this person. Fuck them. And um, I need, <laughs> what? I need, we need to sign a petition to bring back the word bitchy because I feel like for some reason. No, pe- <laughs> fucking rad fems are just like, never say the bitch word. It's fucking misogynist. <laughs> no, Who you, gives you're a dealing fuck? with a bitch. No, fuck that bitch. Fuck, fuck her. Fuck that bitch. She's Holy a piece shit. of shit. She's a piece of garbage. Holy shit. I'll go even farther and say cunt. I'll say the cunt she word. She lives in the teenager. trash. Yeah. Like Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, fucking holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, I gotta, okay, I'm gonna read back the things you said to us. The fucking balls on this girl. The balls on this girl. The fucking balls. To hit people. To call someone's mom a bitch. To call your mom a bitch. (laughs) That's amazing. (laughs) Just show up and your mom is like, here, I made you fucking cheese and crackers. And like, fuck yeah, bitch. Bitch. And then if you get mad at her for calling your mom a bitch, she starts slamming doors. <laughs> fucking <laughs> throwing sh- like toilet paper at your house. No, like yeah. Like a fucking three-year-old just having a tantrum every fucking day. Obviously it's not okay. I'm Are you su- kidding me? I'm surprised you dealt with that. Yeah, no. Get him out amazing. of your life. Straight to jail. Holy shit. Holy fuck, man. Jail. Yeah, jail. jail. Just jail. <laughs> She's upset because you didn't invite her to a hotel, dude. A one hotel. And you, she, she was gonna push you off the bed at a different hotel. That was and my can't favorite part. Fathom the idea of like why? Why does she want me? I'm no, such I think a, that was in somebody's such, house. It doesn't matter. Where a, a bed is there. I know. I know. A bed is in there, and then like, why does she want me near a bed with her again? So That's funny weird. that she sees this. She has the psychopathic thought. <laughs> Hey, let's cause harm to this human being. And she tells somebody while else. She's, while she's in the middle of REM sleep. Let's, <laughs> while she's the most vulnerable, let's absolutely abuse her. And somebody else goes, what? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house, Barry. That's <laughs> the funniest fucking thing. It literally is Barry. Yeah. It's literally like, I could go and make all of her furniture your real small. Your friend is going to go into your house and take all the furniture small. Yeah. What she's the crazy, fuck? bro. Yeah, she's a crazy bitch. Get her out of here. And I mean, yeah, and that's the thing. If you're ever like fucking terrified that somebody, a crazy bitch, is going to turn around and spread rumors about you, let their reputation precede them. Yeah, let them, yeah. Don't do anything. Just say, you know what? Don't want to be friends with you. See ya. And then let them go and be a crazy bitch to everyone else. And they'll be like, yeah, you were right the whole time. She started (laughs) hitting me when I said, actually, um, Alaska isn't an island. That's don't do weird. this to me josh I'm sorry i'm sorry I, I, I don't know why that was the first thought that came to my mind that's so funny to me <laughs> and you know he wasn't even being a bitch when he, he said that being a bitch. I'm he sorry. was just being I'm an sorry. ignorant man you know who you are but can't wait to eat food with you on a few <laughs> like days. legitimately in seven days um a fucking our mutual friend thought that alaska was an island and i had to tell him no sir it <laughs> is just connected to canada <laughs> And it looks like it's. He thought it was next to Hawaii because of the U.S. maps. Um, That's more of a diss on the education system than anything else. And map high makers. Key, this poor man getting constantly dunked on. That's God. why you don't want to be my friend. Some somebody's gonna write into our show and be like, "My mutual, my friend keeps dunking on me on her podcast." And her name's Sarah here, and she's stupid and, and dumb her. and hate her. And she's a big stinky poo poo head. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, this Price. person is crazy, and yeah, you no, need this, to this, get yeah, out of yeah, her get out of reach. her life. Yeah, get the fuck out of her life. Get <laughs> her out of also, your life. Also, you need to call TLC so she can get her own show. Yeah. Oh, and make so much money from show running. Oh my god. <laughs> because I'm gonna watch it. The residuals. Oh, hit us shit. up. I know how to write scripts. <laughs> um, this is from Ev. She, her. Am I the asshole for getting CPS called on my mom? No. 
Oh, no, probably, probably not. not. <laughs> uh, I, a 16 year old female, was 15 at the time of the incident. My mom had been hanging out with her friend. Let's call her Jess. Uh, Jesses are getting a lot of shit tonight, I think. Woo! Fuck um, Jess. Fuck, fuck, fuck people joking. named Jess. Yeah, no, apparently. We even know a, a, a lady named Jess, and she's yeah, nice. True. Yeah, that's late, yeah. Uh, my mom had been hanging out with her friend, let's call her Jess, every night after work for about a year. For a while it was good, but later on, uh, my mom and I's relationship got worse. She would yell at me or make me feel like I wasn't good enough. Eventually, she had a, ma- a mental breakdown and was sent to the hospital. During that time, my family and I found out she was on meth. What? Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to say real quick, once meth is involved, <laughs> not the asshole. Not the asshole, yeah. Uh, after she was released from the hospital, she continued to do meth, and one day before I went to school, she yelled at me and hit me on my head repeatedly. <sighs> Um, no, no, you're not the asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? That day at school, I went into my first hour and broke down. I went to the counselor and told him everything. Good. Yeah, good call. Yes. Which, in turn, got CPS involved, and I was placed with my grandma to live with. In the December of 2021, I went back with my mom. Why did they let you go back to yeah, your mom? Yeah, that's a little... Uh, that's Unless a little... she's a, not on meth anymore. Yeah. She is telling me I ruined her life because of CPS and the cops. Am I the asshole? No. no. And uh, maybe you should live with your grandma. You should probably call CPS again if your mom is blaming you for her meth fucking thing and saying that you ruined her life. You got a fucking narcissist on your hands as well. Or just a drug addict, or man. Or a drug addict that can't take responsibility yeah, for smoking meth. Probably move in with your grandma. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm yeah, sorry. Your mom I'm is sorry. sick, man. Jesus. Uh, that I'm, sucks. Uh, that's uh, that terrible. Suck, and I'm that's sorry. a terrible situation. And I mean, yeah, I don't know why Fuck. you moved back with your mom. Yeah. Who let that happen? Jesus Christ. But yeah, I, I think, I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, maybe this is like the fear that you need to put into your mom of, hey, don't let this shit happen to me. And if she does anything to you, do the same yeah, fucking thing. Do th- the same thing again. Do the fucking yeah, same no. shit. Do the same shit again. Because you fucking, you need to not be hit. Yeah, literally, yeah, you were fucking... And live in a safe environment. Um, yeah, it's not a safe environment. Why the fuck did they... I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. Jesus Christ, man. CBS is not perfect. Yeah, fucking Christ. I blame not public funding them enough, honestly. Uh, yeah, I guess. Probably that's half of it. Jesus Christ, there's not enough fucking mental health care in this goddamn country alone. Yeah, a lot of people... The idea of having CPS being properly funded probably isn't a thing that's happening. I mean, shit, I, I wouldn't know what to do about meth. Fuck. So I can't imagine that, like, I don't know. If even the trained people don't know what to do and they let this happen... Yeah, fucking... We are so, we're so completely so, fucked. yeah. But yeah, I would say like the first sign that your mom is going to retaliate against you for calling CPS on her, go right back to that yeah, counselor. 100%. Go right the fuck back. He, you know, people are at least in your corner trying to advocate for you. That is the good thing. You yeah, know? that's for sure. But and good on that Jesus. counselor for helping you. High key. Yeah, but you're not the wow. asshole. Wow. What the fuck? And don't listen to fucking anything your mom says <laughs> yeah, now. Apparently. High key. Yeah. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Fucking fucking insane man i'm sorry jesus i usually don't feel comfortable with the sentence don't listen to your parents 16 year old but uh i don't maybe know this one maybe, maybe this, this one. one maybe this one jesus <laughs> maybe this one time maybe this one time this one time maybe not listen to your parents remember respect is earned everybody <laughs> and you lose you, it when you, you do meth when you do meth and that's the and that's how we make not around doing drug school your own child your, yeah do meth in a safe space. Yeah. No, in a don't liberal do safe space. Don't ruin your life. Don't, don't ruin do your meth, life. Don't man. do it. All right. Solved it, though. Nice. Okay, so. Oh, this one's not, oh, it's not too long. We're fine. Nice. So, this next story comes to us from Time, T-H-Y-M-E. Oh, that's a great name. Yeah. That's a very good name. They, them. Nice. Am I the asshole for getting in contact with my ex again? We'll see. I, 18 non-binary, and my ex-partner, also 18 non-binary, broke up about a year ago. Since then, my physical health has been getting worse and worse. A few weeks after we broke up, I got admitted to a hospital and had to stay there for several months. Oh, shit. I was later diagnosed with a critical or chronic illness and since then have been struggling to balance my health and going to school. You're fine. It's all good. 
My ex-partner and I didn't leave things badly between us, and we even promised to stay friends. Okay. We dated for about three to four years, but we we were very young and had a lot to figure out. Mm. The reason we broke up was because I realized that I am on the aromantic spectrum. Before we were in a relationship, we had been best friends for some time. They have always been supportive for me, and their emotional support is something I always valued a lot. They were the first person I ever felt truly comfortable around since I didn't have a healthy environment growing up. Hmm. I get almost no support from my family now, and I need someone to talk to from time to time. A few weeks ago, I finally got the courage to text them again. I apologize for not being able to text them sooner and briefly explain the situation with my physical health. I explicitly told them that I have no interest in rekindling anything romantic between us, but I just needed a friend to talk to. I also made it clear that they didn't have to get in contact with me and again if they didn't want to. Okay. Ultimately, they are a great friend to me and I want them to be comfortable as well. They agreed and we, now we've been talking for about two weeks now. My ex have been, has been very nice to me and I, I think they are genuinely happy to talk to me and my own mental health has been a lot better too. I still can't keep myself from wondering if I made the right decision since I waited so long. Am I the asshole or is it weird for me to text them again after an entire year? No, what? No, if, they, if they're already being, like, amicable towards you, like... Yeah, it sounds like nothing happened. And not only that, but, like, if you left on good terms and you explain that you're aromantic, That's... and if they're not a shitty person, yeah, they'll be respectful of that and they can still be a friend with you, yeah. Especially yeah. if they, you see them as, like, a good uh, emotional support. Or, I've known yeah. uh, people that were in relationships with people who were asexual, and the other person is not asexual, and uh, they are able to make, like, a long-term relationship happen just because of communication and just because of, like, being on the same page. Yeah. So, I mean, in general, it's, like, really the whole thing is just being, um, I got the fly. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Um, <laughs> we the, did really, it. We did it. Hell yeah. The whole thing is just about being, like, present and being honest about how you feel and who you are and things change and... <sighs> just saying like hey i think i'm actually a romantic and the other person being like actually nope i want somebody to be romantic with but you can still be friends after that there's yeah, nothing wrong for sure. you didn't do anything wrong literally no at yeah all. so like I yeah think you're fine no you're fine yeah no you're fine <laughs> hey, you're fine yeah you're good that's not, I, you're not the asshole as long as yeah there's enough communication going between you both yeah and i wonder why you think you're the asshole i hope people in your life don't make you feel guilty yeah don't feel for guilty no if, yeah you're you're connecting with someone that you used to talk to that was nice to you and like fucking yeah yeah fucking yeah you're fine i'm sorry if people are making you feel bad you shouldn't be feeling bad you shouldn't no yeah especially if like everything's going okay yeah for sure yeah and if that again if they understand that you're not romantic so yeah yeah and they're not being shitty about it or something well, come on, don't you want to go back to hey, yeah. back to being in a cool relationship? Yeah. Yeah, no, that yeah, that would be shitty. And you should bounce. <laughs> High key, yeah. Yeah, if they're being that way. But you're not the asshole. No. Yeah. All right. Solved it. Solved it. That's right. the last one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, we're almost done. What? Thank Christ, because fucking Adobe Audition keeps freezing every three seconds, so maybe this is all gone. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna use the camera mics for Oh God. No, we're good. I think, yeah. I think it's just because I zoomed in so far. It just fucking freaks me out. Do you want me to stop all the recordings and then restart them just to be safe? Uh, no. I mean, we're almost done, so. All right, yeah, I'll speed through it. Speed run. <laughs> okay, fuck. Before everything, before everything collapses. All right, this is from Anonymous, they, them. Cool. Hi, guys. I am in a kind of, I am in kind of a bad situation. There was a person, 25 to 26 non-binary, I, 22 non-binary, was kind of interested in a few years back. Since they were in a relationship, I didn't think much of it, but eventually they forced me into situations while I was drunk that I didn't really want to be in. Borderline self-harm or sexual harassment. One of the two. Um, I was kind of oblivious to what I was supposed to do, and my opinion on them didn't really change for a while, but they started acting more and more aggressive to the point where I was actually afraid of them hurting me. This peaked at a two-day camp where I had prepared to stay for both days. I was talking to a group of friends when they appeared and started talking to only me and ignored everyone else. I tried to ignore it, but I did pick up that it was flirting and they noticed that I hadn't paid attention most of the time. They started telling me really graphic things about how they would murder me. What? That's a, that yeah, the line. Yeah, it's not a good situation to be in. I agree with you, listener. <laughs> Jesus. Needless to say, I didn't end up staying for the night there. 
I have been trying my best this past year to avoid this person and forget about what happened, but sometimes their name comes up in conversation and I get visibly anxious or angry, which makes some of my friends angry at me because I... This makes me so... Is no, fucking don't. Fucking boils please, my no. blood. Okay. Quote, unquote. Because I failed to heal from this in a year and just wallow in my misery. Tell me their addresses, honey. Yeah, um, you should not be friends with those people. They're not safe people. And even go for, like, DM me, text me their addresses, and I will give my boxing gloves, and I will get in the car. We're gonna start the next creator clash right now. That's, that's, what's, what's about <laughs> yeah, to that's start. about what's gonna fucking happen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They also have a problem with me not going to therapy, but I just currently don't have the funds for it. Yeah, so that's not your fucking, yeah, it sucks that in this country you can't get fucking mental health resources. We just talked to Literally, wow. we just talked. No, Ooh. these friends sound awesome. Yeah, no, these friends are the fucking worst already. They also said that it's not their drama and they don't want to be a part of it. So they will just keep hanging out with them, which is not a problem, but I don't want to hear about this person. I'm not sure if I'm completely in the right. Some of my friends insist I'm um, the asshole. Pff, go fuck. No, those those friends can go fuck themselves. And You're... some insist I am not, and I keep thinking about it. Bro, you got you some got, selfish ass friends, bro. You got the worst friends imaginable. Holy, Holy shit. shit. I will fight them. They're the worst. I will fight them for you. assholes, actually. Bro, if somebody said I failed to heal from this in a year. Call, yeah, call, yeah, call your friend a failure. Yeah. What, what a good fuck? friend. Yeah. If anybody told me I failed at something, just like a guy, <laughs> just like a guy <laughs> told like, me I failed. What the fuck failed, are you talking about? I yeah. would turn around and be like, "Do you want to fight? Do you right want to fight? Yeah. What you, the fuck is wrong with you? You're about to become a fucking failure when I pop you in the <laughs> nose. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that's literally like I don't just just the word failure is crazy to me. Absolutely wild. I don't know why I'm doing Donald Trump movie. hands. I've been doing that lately. I don't know. Uh, it's fucking. the worst. It's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> I know. Fuck it. Yeah. Go. Those friends can go fuck themselves. Yeah. You're not the asshole here. There's no limit. There's no time period of healing where somebody could be, bro. And you know what? If Come there on, was chop, chop one week, it's already been a week. Of fucking bro. My fucking dad died. And I had people in my life like three months, four months in. They'd be like, come on, man, get over it. Come on, uh, yeah, bro. Get over fuck it. Yourself. I'm yeah, still not go. over it. It's fucking father's day. in like two weeks or whatever. Yeah. Like fucking fucks me up. We played fucking Red Dead Redemption 2 recently, and I had big father vibes because he was into cowboys. I'm sorry, and now I'm like, shit. I can't even play Red Dead Redemption 2 without getting sad. Are you kidding me? Fuck, bro. No. Fuck that person. Fuck fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Holy shit. Honestly, the next time they go, fuck oh, you're talking about this fuck again? Your friends. Yeah, no. Just look them straight in the eyes and say, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you deserve better friends, and you deserve to have the time to heal they're just totally chill about wanting somebody about having some guy some fucking guy guys he's he's like the best player on our pool team sorry sorry they're the best person on the pool team guys we need to make sure we get these billiards shot and they're the only one that can do it yeah i'd say guy in a they i'm sorry yeah i apologize what i'm sorry but I'm, i'm just fucking asshole what a piece of shit fucking piece of shit fucking they suck man they do suck they really fucking suck a lot. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, I don't, well, yeah, they're the worst. Get that's, out of there. That's Get really bad. Get the fuck bad. out of there. Yeah, no. Straight to jail. Actually, literally straight to jail because they fucking harassed you like shit and threatened to murder you. What the fuck? Graphic details. Graphic details. Jesus. Man, I've been told that, like, natural selection was coming for me, and that's not, like, half as worse as the shit up. that you're going through. Yeah, Jesus. I wasn't told graphically that, like, a bear was going to eat me alive. Like, you know, Jesus. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's a threat. It's a threat. You're, get, you're being threatened. Wild. Fucking wild. Not the asshole. Not the asshole at all, man. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. Solved it. We have to do it. I'm okay, sorry. We'll do that again. Yeah. yeah. That was bad. All right. Okay. Last story. Jesus fucking asshole. Oh my God. I want to apologize to Salami She They because I might have a little less energy right now. Sorry. That's such a good name. And that's a good name Salami? though. It is a good name. Salami is a good name. Yeah, right, I'm back are coming up. out with the best names. Y'all I love it. coming up some real good names. God bless you. Yeah. All right. So this last story comes to us from Salami She They. Nice. 
Am I the asshole for ignoring and avoiding a guy after he asked me out? Probably not. I, 16 female, started ignoring K, 16 male, 12 days ago. For months before this, we were really good friends. I could tell that K had caught feelings one day. Uh, it was obvious even for me. When he asked, I said no and gave him three reasons. After I said no and pretended that this, this didn't happen and that he would, we would still be friends, he asked me three times if I wanted make, was making up the reasons. The second time, I restated everything that I said before with a little more detail. For a week after that day, things went pretty normal on my end. Then he stopped eating lunch with me. There were some pretty dry conversations after that. I didn't have anything to talk about, so I wouldn't start another dry conversation. One day in our government class, he asked, quote, Why are you avoiding and ignoring me? I was confused and answered, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not actively trying to avoid or ignore you. He just sat at his desk and said, Oh, okay. The next go, fucking teenage guys, Jesus, this is making me feel cringy from how I was a teenager, <laughs> Jesus. The next gov class we were, uh, we had, we were to do an assignment in groups of five. I got my assignment out and ready. I felt Kay's eyes looking at me, and so I looked back. He then asked, are you going to talk to me and stop ignoring me? Are we going to be in a group together? Bro, I chill. then apologize. Yeah, fucking chill bro, out, bro. Chill, bro. Man. Jesus. Fucking chill. God. Police are coming for Police you, bro. Are coming for you him. need yeah, to Jesus. chill, dude. The police in the fucking background, Christ. <laughs> uh, what is it? I then apologized. Shortly after that, we'd uh, when I tried to have or join it into a conversation, his face would become serious and he'd look down at his phone or away, stopping any conversation I tried to have with him. The class went by and then me and P, female 17, were walking to go to the next class. She said K told her that I was ignoring and avoiding him. The next time we had government, a government all together, P was outside the classroom. We talked about K and about him being cold and weird towards me. How when he talked to someone else, he'd be happy, then talk to me and be really cold. K joined this gr the group and asked what we were talking about. P said, we were talking about you. He then said, oh, and looked down at his phone. P then noticed what I told her about. P and K were then having a conversation, and I didn't know how to join in, so I stayed back. That whole period, class period was awkward and I was fed up with K, so instead of walking with them, he w I went on my own. He then threw texts, asked me, how the fuck am I being weird? <laughs> A long line of angry texts later, I was fed up. After two hours of no reply, I blocked him and deleted his number. After that, I actually started ignoring and avoiding him. I don't care anymore. I was so mad I started doing it. The first this is day real did Nate, Nate Jacobs energy, yeah. by the way. <laughs> just want to throw that in there. God. Yeah. <laughs> The first day I did this, it really messed him up. He was mean to everyone. I deeply regretted this, but I thought that he had this coming. The class that I have with him, he didn't go. It felt great not having to pretend a whole human didn't exist. It's now spring break, and I don't know if I did the right thing. Wow, spring break. Wow, we're late on this one. I know, we were fucking <laughs> well, it's late. It's summer break now, yeah, and yeah, so you should keep avoiding him, I guess. Hopefully he didn't, like, escalate and, yeah, like, I hope not. hate Jesus you or Christ. something. Fuck. Uh, I love recording stories three months after they're sent. So, um, welcome to the experience of rejecting a boy. Sarah, this is all you. I will leave my microphone over here. And then him absolutely just exploding internally and externally. One time a guy asked me to hang out because I went to a Muse concert and I told him about it. And uh, he was a short guy. He was a sweet guy. He was, I remember his name was Daniel. And uh, fucking, he was a sweet guy. It was the first time I went to music college. It was the first day of music college. I was talking to this guy. I looked a little alt. He came up to me and was like, I'm also alt. Let's fucking talk about stuff. I had a nice conversation with him. And then he got real shy and said, hey, let's hang out. Gave me his phone number. I put it in my phone. I was like, damn, I immediately got a boy's phone number. That's fucking Ooh, crazy. Whoa. Saucy. College is crazy. Um... And then I didn't text him because I didn't, I've never been over to like some guy's house. Oh yeah. And I didn't know how old this guy was either. Oh so yeah, fair. I was scared and I didn't text him. 25 year old. <laughs> and I can't describe how upset this guy was that I did not text him. God, I really fucking, he dude. missed classes for a week and he showed up the next time wearing sunglasses. And he would not look anybody in the face. 
You just say me, Sarah. <laughs> no, no. But no, like fucking holy shit. No, like fucking Jesus. I remember being a dumb fucking sixteen year old not knowing how to just fucking tell my own feelings of like, hey, I want to date you. You want to date? And then, ha- well, I mean, but have you ever, like, when a girl is like, no, I do not want to date, and then you go, fuck. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, honestly, have you, have you that, doesn't, that? that doesn't, that sounds like my playbook. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's like a weird, like, I guess like, um, I mean, because it's like a very emotionally A, inept and immature thing to do. And yeah. it's definitely both of those things. Yeah. Growing up. So I wouldn't be surprised if I had that reaction at least once, you know, yeah. but not like, like, uh, to the point of like. Throwing shit, you know? Like, would you text a girl and be like, why the fuck won't you date me? I don't think I did that. I, I yeah. don't think I did that. I think I, uh, what is it? I mean, the only thing I did was talk shit about everyone online. <laughs> yeah. That was the only thing I ever really did, but, Which is um, shitty. Yeah, no, it's shitty. I did a lot of shitty things in fucking high school. I'm gonna admit to it right now, but, but like, like... I don't think you ever, like, harassed women. God, I hope not. <laughs> fucking Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Fucking someone doxes like a bunch of DMs of like, how dare you? I'm like fucking awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, having like a weird narcissistic fucking moment with a girl. I don't know. I think like uh, I was too like um, what is it? Apparently like uh, I don't know how to fucking describe it. I do want to say real quick, this is not normal behavior. Like yeah, no, I don't think this is normal behavior. We do either. not want to normalize this behavior. No, yeah, this is bad. This it is, is a bad thing. Quote unquote normal and that it exists and, and I, happens a lot. Multiple people have done it. Yeah. But it's not good behavior from yeah, a, I, from I, I a guy. Say for the record. And if I'll Josh leave. has ever done anything like you that, you can cancel me. Yeah. It's bad. Uh yeah, no, obviously I agree with you. Yeah. Uh no, fucking I'm trying to think. Unironically, I don't think I've ever gone to the point of straight up harassing or if I asked someone why they would, wouldn't date me, they would probably have told me that I was a huge asshole because I was for some people. Yeah. And then I would just stop there and be like, all right, yeah, that's fair. And then go into a depression. Yeah, because from what I've fucking seen is you would say, like, you're right. And then you would be sad. And I would just be sad. Yeah. Which is like the normal response. Yeah, I would just be depressed. I wouldn't put it out onto like everybody. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't just be like, how about you go fuck yourself while you're at it? Yeah. yeah like, I don't think I've fucked. ever done that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think, yeah, you're the guy that you're dealing with just seems like a more extreme version of the inept and emotionally unavailable yeah, Cause he, he's just straight up going on his phone like he's pissed and he's like just trying to annoy you now and he's probably also with going on his phone he's trying to make it seem like he doesn't care so that you want him probably which is yeah, not how anything not works how, yeah yeah it's not at all how you make girls like you and you can't actually make girls like you they will like you or they do not like you that's true and yeah. when they do not like you you have to take it even him asking for a reason yeah you didn't what, need to give him a not, reason yeah you don't need to give a reason at all yeah i mean yeah and you're a couple of years away from being like damn i must be a bad bitch because i made this guy obsess over me true yeah which is the normal metamorphosis for women <laughs> um yeah true so, so i don't know i'm sorry you had to deal with this fucking yeah. kid yeah he's a, a kid fucking, he's just a fucking kid man god yeah and you'll be it'll be all gone in five years <laughs> hopefully hopefully or he'll be an incel <laughs> one of those he'll be on things. the news is what we're saying but yeah i would stay away from this guy that's between the numbers 14 and 16 and instead of being an ak it's a different <laughs> car minus c demonetized demonetized yeah. jesus Christ. no one on anchor is gonna want to sponsor us now <laughs> <laughs> nope uh but you know not yeah, your no, fault not your, not your fault not the asshole um and every single woman has a story about this yeah every single woman who has ever been propositioned by a man one time i told a guy one time i had to tell a guy i didn't have a phone so that he didn't Again, put his number was, yeah in my look phone. at me when you say that sarah because you told me you didn't have a phone <laughs> I like that you glanced at me real quick saying that. You know that's not you. I know Don't it's even not. say <laughs> that it's you. What the fuck? You know that that's You're not you. That was like when I was 17 and a fucking 30 year old guy showed up at the Sam Ash put uh, put me into a corner <laughs> next to the mandal uh, next to the mandolins. <laughs> And fucking harassed me until I told I lied and said I don't have a phone. That's why I can't text you. <laughs> I, I want to imagine you holding, like actually holding. Uh, yeah, I don't have a phone. I was holding my viola. Yeah, yeah, I had my viola on me. 
Yeah. I was just a fucking 16 year old with a viola. That's all it was. Yeah. Jesus, fucking groomers at Sam Ash. <laughs> yeah, the groomers at Sam Ash. And I remember that Fuck fucking yeah. room too because it had the, uh, it had a big black leather couch and I went to go s- sit on it awkwardly afterwards and I was like, this looks like the casting couch. Yeah, I gotta get off this couch now. I gotta leave. Everyone's staring at you. I have to get out of here. <laughs> I You're about to, to have go. a fucking bag over your head. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be sold into fucking like sex slavery or something. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Get beyond that. We got to be on those flight logs everyone's talking about. Yeah. Jesus. One time I lied and told a guy who asked me out uh, for a coffee. I lied and said that I just got out of a relationship and I don't want to date. And he then texted me every day for like three months. Are you good now? No. Are you good now? He, he like would make up projects for us to work on. So he could text me updates about the projects so we would be texting for three months. And then I found out he was a Nazi. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that guy. I love that guy. That He's guy such an awful crazy. person. Yeah, it was terrible. He's the worst person imaginable. I yeah. love it. Oh, my God. We found his uh, grinder or his Bumble profile or something. And it said, uh, I think it legitimately said no blacks allowed or something. No yeah, blacks. Yeah, something horrible. Something yeah. really terrible. It will, yeah, fucking hilarious that he's just open about it. It was really cool. Yeah, have we ever talked about it? And that was about, before yeah. Charleston, too. So I was like, is he really a Nazi? Are Nazis still a thing? Because I didn't know. I was young and dumb. Then Charleston then happened. Then Charleston happened. And I was like, this guy is a and Nazi. And then you learned about the fucking, at the local college here, the fucking um. Oh, yeah. The There's the, yeah, the fucking um, Nazi group around, huh? Yeah. Man, yeah, maybe he's a part of that. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Fucking crazy. Yeah, man. On today's episode of you guys need to keep fighting fascism. Because they exist and they they're exist trying and they're to still there. Uh, fuck. They're trying. They're out there trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they're out there trying to fucking procreate. <laughs> get them out of here. Trying to get coffee. God solved it though. Solved it. And that's our show. We did it. Fucking man. Someday you're going to be like, this fucking guy harassed me in high school. That's. Yeah. Uh, God oh, bless. God. Jesus. The I'm just waiting for the day I get canceled, man. Of being born into a woman's body. Like, you just have lumps on your body, and the rest of your life, men are like exploding at the seams to sit down and eat lunch with you. Yeah. <laughs> It's a terrible existence. (laughs) It's not an awful existence. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Josh, Josh, apologize. I'm sorry. Thank you. To all women. Thanks. I wouldn't say anything. I would listen. (laughs) (laughs) And that man went on to make Barry. That's a reference to Bill Hader. Oh, it is? Yeah. What did he say? It's, a, it's an SNL skit. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know every fucking SNL skit Bill Hader's in. Well, you should know everyone that John Mulaney's in. Man, that likes Dave Chappelle. <laughs> but you guys How feel sad stupid. Is it that John Mulaney wrote the Stefan stuff? Yeah, really upsetting. It is upsetting. Yeah. That's our show, everyone. That's our show, I, We don't know how to end it. We couldn't, we couldn't end on Nazis. Uh, Sarah, what do you want to plug? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. That's uh, S Q U I N T O N two seven one. And I think are we doing the thing now where it pops yeah, up? Yeah, it'll be on the bottom at the beginning at the end. Yeah, and you can find my Instagram too on there too. S Q U I N T O N two seven. And soon I'll just make that my name, uh, so you guys don't have to one day free. You don't have to wonder what the fuck it is that I'm yeah. spelling. And all of this is in the description as well. Uh, yeah. I'm Joshua Chinland on Twitter, a guy nicknamed JC on uh, Twitch. Twitch. Uh, Joshua Chinland on YouTube if I ever make content again. Who knows? Maybe soon. Um, TikTok, APWSTR, buy me coffee and Patreon, APWSTR. A podcast will save this on Instagram, APWSTR Productions on YouTube. AP, a podcast will save this relationship on all podcasting networks. Truth. And I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure that's everything, yeah. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. See you next time, baby. Peace out. Fucking fly. Jesus Christ. Why is there another fucking fly? The second you kill... Fucking ass... Check if every... Every guy that asks you out, search him on the internet to see if he's a Nazi. Because there are more out there than you think.
That's true. That's yeah. my pro tip to girls. Pro tip. <laughs> Make sure that the words Aryan race aren't in their profile. And guys, actually, because he was fucking men, too. He yeah. was a little bisexual Nazi. Yeah. God bless that guy. Yeah, that can't be the advocate. <laughs> that can't be. God, too many Nazis. It's true. There are too many that Nazis. That was a You're true right. story a that true happened story. to me in my life. And I'm censoring it. What? I'm censoring it. Fucked. No. <laughs> during Pride Month, this is homophobic. Yeah, during Pride Month, especially during Pride Month. Oh, fucked up. If I can't do it during Pride Month, when else can I do it? First, <laughs> every they came- other month. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay um that's it that's the outro fuck yeah. damn it